Hey, everybody. Have you heard about the Drunken Peasants Patreon? It helps support the show while getting you some cool perks. Check it out! For $1 per month, you get to use our exclusive fan chat that appears at the bottom of the screen on every episode. For $5 per month, you get two new private shows, including Actual Mania, as well as our back catalog of private shows, plus all lower tier perks. For $10 per month, you get all of our monthly video content. This includes multiple post shows, our monthly reviews, our back catalog of all that content, plus all lower tier perks. For $15 per month, your name will appear in the ending credits of each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $25 per month, you get to take part in our monthly booking committee hangout to help us book our Patreon content for that month, plus all lower tier perks. For $33 per month, you get an exclusive piece of DP merch each month, plus all lower tier perks. For $50 per month, you appear in the opening credits for each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $100 per month, you get to join us as a guest on an episode of the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Plus, you guessed it, all lower tier perks. Visit patreon.com slash dp now to become a patron of the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Okay. This is episode 1300. And 27. Welcome back again. And we got Chabisky. We were supposed to have Scott on tonight. Scott had to cancel. We got Chabisky filling in. Thank you, Chabisky, for being here. We appreciate it. Welcome to the horizontal verse. Whoa. Yes, it's awesome. I, I, I love filling things in. It's my favorite thing to do. I find things and I fill them in with stuff. You know? So. The biscuit. Like me. The biscuit. Hell yeah. And starting us off right. We're at 25% of the goal right now. Damn. Uh, off to a good start. Yeah. What a boss. What a boss. So, as soon as Jared's done laughing here, I have a question for you. Oh, he's going <laughs> to laugh for a while here. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. All right. Chibiski there you go. He needs to get bullied. Oh, we'll we'll get to that. We'll get to that eventually. So, Shabisky, how did the whole horizontal thing happen? Because, like, okay, so you started streaming horizontal, and you realize that streaming horizontal recommends your videos more than when you do. Vertical. Or, or, I'm yeah. sorry, vertical. Vertical. My bad. Yeah, it's just a new thing that they added. Uh, I guess YouTube's trying to be a little more like TikTok and Instagram with the with the vertical streams uh and uh probably most streamers that do gaming stuff aren't doing gaming streams on there so um but what gave you the idea uh well actually one of my subs uh uh brought it up and then i i tried doing just a stream from my phone with it and i was surprised that uh, gained a bunch of subs yeah. real quick, uh, just walking up to the gas station to get some beer and stuff. And uh, so since then, I've just been doing horizontal like crazy. So and why do you think YouTube doesn't tell people that you can do that and they just want you to figure it out on your own? They they have. And in, in like the last week, they finally, when you go to the app, it pops up and says, go live doing vertical streams from your phone and get recognized by more people. Really? Um, they they just started doing that? Yeah, just like in the last week. So like a month after I, or I don't know, I've been doing it for like a month or something. Now they're finally telling people. Um, huh. As well as they did post a video talking about it. Yeah, nobody watches that shit. <laughs> right? 
Uh, I, I was only watching it because I'm a I'm a YouTuber, you know. You didn't <laughs> watch that. Someone told I didn't watch you. all of it. I watched most. You of didn't it. watch okay, it. I got lazy. Quit lying. I did. You, you got lazy, like <laughs> yeah, halfway through. So what That's what true. what are your plans though for the uh, the horizontal verse uh, or the the vertical verse? Like, uh, are you going to do anything else other than play Fortnite? Or is that uh, mainly what you're going to do now? Well, Fortnite's just been working really well, and GTA, too. So I'm trying to just be consistent with that and keep the channel growing again. Um, but uh, at some point, I'll move back to horizontal and stuff, I'm sure. Really? After all this, yeah, after all the vertical hype settles down and, and stuff, I'm sure it'll happen over over the next month or something. Um, but until then, at least I can get a little bit more people to the channel. And sure. Stuff. It's been doing really good. Yeah, I mean, there's definite growth. I, I do notice that when I do it, my, uh, my like, percentage of my video that's actually watched is, like, way low compared to my yeah, horizontal cause... streams. Because people just, they, they, like, swipe to the next video. Yeah. On the shorts yeah, feed. Yeah, they're just watching shorts videos, then here comes tap, and they're like, huh, okay. Okay, know, whatever. They might watch it, or it might not. Uh, but, yeah, um, you're getting a lot more traffic, and not as much as sticking around and stuff, but you're getting a lot more new people to notice it, your, your stuff. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like uh, when I was streaming the boxing matches, mm. we would get, like, very low average view durations, but tons of views because people were trying to see the the boxing match and they thought we were streaming the actual boxing match. You know? Yeah. Like you like yeah, whenever I'm doing the vertical streams, my watch time is way lower than if I did my streams before horizontal. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I basically told everybody, um I, I'll do vertical sometimes, but the main show will never be vertical. So it's, yeah. it's it's always going to be horizontal like this because it's just a better viewing experience overall. Um, like when when people watch you play your game, they can't see your the full game. They can only see like the middle, like the middle third of of the whole game. You know what I mean? It's just that YouTube chooses to push that now. Whatever. I mean, it's up to them. But I, it's yeah. it's definitely like a better overall viewing experience to have it horizontal. Um, but yeah. I'll I'll do like I'll I'll I mean, IRL streaming out and about it, like it. I don't feel like vertical takes that much away from it. But anyway, we are going to uh, watch some fun stuff. We're gonna go through the history of the bog dog. Uh, it was made from yak meat, bog dog yak meat, um, because uh, Jeffrey Star owns a yak farm where uh, King Cobra lives in Casper, and uh, King Cobra's girlfriend wanted to go there, so they went there and bought uh, yak bratwurst, and King Cobra cooked them in you know the typical King Cobra bog fashion. You know, yeah, lots of random stuff. Yeah, yeah, like they looked, <laughs> they looked good enough. Uh, but not only that, not only what does he do that, but he waits days to eat it. Yeah, you gotta let it like marinate. You, you know, gotta let it coagulate. It. Yeah, yeah, you gotta let the bacteria grow a little bit. It adds to the flavor, then. Gosh, coagulate. Ah. Uh. I'm, right. I'm drinking some 805, guys. 805. Some crazy guy. <laughs> All right, here's the uh here's the the new updated intro. Somewhere in the world today have got to stand up strong, face the truth about themselves, to understand what went wrong. I know we can find a way, I know we can find a way, I know we can find a way. Stand up. It's amazing. Stand up. It's amazing. Stand up. 
Here's uh, here's part one. We cooking up some dankness. So th this is the pan he's starting out with. There's already butter and bacon grease in the bottom. This is your pan. I'm gonna turn that on. Do you know what I mean? And uh, if you notice, he's not actually using his stovetop. He has like an electric skillet that he cooks from. Medium. Is he scared of fire? I don't know. I, it's not even gas. It's not even a gas range. It's an electric range anyway. Oh. So. <laughs> Jeffree Star's meat and makeup. These are the uh, yak bratwursts. I want to cook them up with some dankness. So, yeah. I mean, those look good enough. Uh, have some stuff to that pan while I grease his heat. And he up. has an interesting stove. I've never seen one that That's has a plug. That's very old. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, his stove is is very old. It looks like it's you know, yeah, it has that old design look to it. Yeah. Plus, I've never seen a stove that has a plug. I I I, I bet probably everybody here watching has never seen a stove with a plug uh, on the front like that. I don't know about don't that, know. but. <laughs> Jessica really wanted to see Jeffree Star's makeup store, meat store, so I took her there. Bought her some bratwurst, so she didn't get a chance to try them yet. I'm going to try them on camera. Dude, my weed carts in alcohol boil to a butter. What does that mean? It means he's taken his carts and he's uh, taking all the like you take all your extra carts that you didn't clear you didn't get all the stuff out mm -hmm. and then you empty it with, with you get it in, with alcohol and then um, that'll work as a solvent and get it out of it and then they cook the alcohol out of it and turn it back in, and then you make you get all the concentrate that you missed from the the carts. Wow. Yeah, I had no idea. Wow, you definitely just completely translated that for me. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, please like the stream if you haven't already. Thank you so much. What are we hearing? Is that the dishwasher? I th no, I believe it is the uh, the hood above his stove there. Oh, okay. That With the fan sense. in it to like shoot so the loud. the smoke out. Yeah. Okay, so there's already grease in there, but he's gonna add uh, country crock. Which he calls butter, which it is not butter. Okay. Uh, uh, did you see that splatter on the wall? Yeah. <laughs> That's how I'll be there for for a couple years. Yeah. <laughs> all that, all that dirty grease. Ah, uh, okay. Come on, dude. Please get a tripod. Please. His his cooking videos would be so much better. Yeah. Never had yak before, so this should be interesting to try. Got some of that bacon up grease. And now he's okay. He just had a country crock. Now he's gonna add bacon grease. Yummy. I'm gonna put a little bit of it in the middle here. A little more butter. And that's gonna be the base of our flavor for our yak. The the it's gonna be the base of the flavor for the yak. How about just the flavor of the meat itself? Look 
Ah! There's our yak meats. Now we're going to take this delicious looking bratwurst from Jeffree Star's makeup and meat. See, he could just cook one of them and then like put the rest in his freezer. You know, that it's that's easy to do because sausage will freeze for a long time. You know, and then he can just pull out one when he's ready. Normally, that's how you cook like brats or hot dogs or whatever. Normally, it's like you cook them as you need them. You don't cook like 10, 10 of them. Yeah. Like at once. Yeah, he's got like five warm. or six of them. These are the uh, cheddar beer bratwursts. The nice lady at the store said that they're really popular. I like how he doesn't have a kitchen knife for it. He's not his pocket knife. So, uh... E.Z. Jenkins says you're a Cobra virgin and your life is ruined now? Uh, if me being a virgin means that I knew about him like two years ago and have watched lots of stuff since then, then yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm pretty uh -huh. much a virgin. <laughs> pretty much. I think you've known about him for longer than two years. Yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> I started watching him in time. 2019. Yeah. Let these dethaw to room temperature after having them in the freezer. Get these sounds of bitches open. He's using a fucking pocket knife to open this package of hot dogs. Yeah, like 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 he doesn't have a kitchen knife anywhere just to grab. Or just like, like a normally. pair of scissors. I would open this with scissors, not a knife. Because you don't have to stab it. You can just slice the edge off of it, and then you can pull it out. And then and then the bag can still be used. You know, you can keep the, the rest of them in there. Either either way, using a pocket knife for this is a little nasty. It's both nasty because the pocket knife is probably dirty, and then he's getting, like, food residue on the pocket knife and putting it back in his, oh, in his don't, pocket. Don't later. worry. He'll wipe off the knife with his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder how hot he has it. That's hot. This is hot. Uh, yes, Justin, I am aware. Yeah, you're right. He does He does have um, a tripod that he refuses to use, which seems so strange because he goes through this much effort, and I think it would be less effort just to set it up right facing down towards his pan and just shoot yeah. his hands cooking, and then he could move it over to the counter if he's chopping something up or whatever. That's, that's what how, I would do if I was in his position. <laughs> I filmed cooking videos, and that's how I did it. I set up a tripod and angled my phone down at the pan or down at the the fryer or whatever I was using. Yeah, we watched you make pizza. Yeah. Some beer that. yeah. So the Saddlebrock beer from Black Tooth. See, another thing that makes me sad is that he wastes alcohol. Like, he makes that gross stuff that he calls mead. But yeah. then, like, he has real alcohol here and he wastes it. He These this yak, these yak brats, they don't need uh, bacon grease. They don't need country crock. And they don't need <clears throat> beer on them. Well, well, the, the, the proper way to do this would uh, would be like sometimes uh, I, I do this kind of thing where you use that for marinating. Use like a wine sure. or a beer for marinating and that will add some nice flavor to it, but not while you're cooking. No. <laughs> Speaking of beer, Sour let me grab one. All right. Black tooth. That also lowers the temperature of everything.
He didn't have to use the whole can, too. Maybe just like a yeah. little... I don't know if he needs to use the whole can. He needs to drown it. Well, now he's boiling them. <laughs> he's boiling That's what it. I was about to say. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, now he's boiling. In a mixture of oil and beer. Get me. There's a whole can of that goodness. I watched him boil a steak in Mountain Dew one time. Uh, and him and his buddy, Darth Linney, ate it. It looks so gross. It was green. It turned the steak green. I think I remember seeing that. He did it with eggs, too. Okay, that I think that's what I saw now. Now that I'm remembering, that's the thing I saw that was green. <laughs> Took up. I'll be periodically rotating them. Like yeah, the green hard, the Mountain Dew hard boiled eggs. I, I'm not a big egg fan anyway, but when they looked like dirty green eggs, it made me like yeah. gag a little bit. Yeah, I hate, I hate Egghead too. You know, we're on the same page, me. Egghead, did you hear that? I wonder if Egghead, Egghead's what? always lurking in the shadows. Fight about this, Egghead. Turned on. Yeah, we oh, hear that. Thanks, thanks for letting us know. Do their thing. Yeah, about like three minutes, we're gonna flip over. He doesn't even have the thing that goes in the middle, <laughs> like the handle. Yeah. All right, so that's part one. Let's see. They've, like, imploded because he's heated them up too much, and you can tell they're, like, wanting to burst from the inside out. They look terrible. The skin is starting to, like, peel. Like, the casing. Yeah. All right, so that's part two. Here's part three. They look like they've been done for a while. <laughs> Sauce is going on last. Uh, There's no way the two hot dogs that he ends up eating later on are pre-put into buns two days before that. Right? Got some pepper jack cheese from Sargento. He used to call Sargento cheese Serengeto cheese. Yeah. Serengeto. Yeah, by the way, yeah, this video was made like two days ago. More than two days ago. Each hot dog bun is going to get a little bit of that cheese. Okay. He's... See, I don't really put cheese on hot dogs. I guess it it's not a deal breaker. You know? I've done it. Uh sure. It, it could be good. Sure, sure. That I'm not like, "Oh, that's gross." Th that's okay. All right, we're going to... So oh, damn. The bacon horse... Okay, what? Hold on. What is he doing? 
bacon bits? That yeah, he's, yeah, it's that's supposed to go on salads. <laughs> All right, like he couldn't even get his he couldn't even get bacon and just like cook some bacon in a pan and then like crush it up and put it on this. He's using like salad bacon bits. He's using a whole can. You know how much money and food he's using here? It's ridiculous. <clears throat> he might be better off ordering DoorDash. YouTube is hot dogs. It's going to be interesting for sure. Interesting. Yeah, when I'm like, is that good? And someone's like, it's interesting. That doesn't make me want to eat it. <clears throat> Honey, my damn chef's toothpicks. <laughs> Here we're gonna add some other cheeses to it. Well, By the way, if you're gonna send in donos, I, I appreciate them either way, but we have a weekly donation goal and only Streamlabs makes it move. So I'd appreciate it if anyone wants to help get us a little closer to that goal, please use the link. That's pinned at the top of the chat. Like some of this here, what's it called? See. Horseradish bacon cheese. Yes, why not? Those brush are smelling done and looking done, son. We're gonna get baked in the oven anyways. We're gonna make that cheese all nice and melted. He sounds pretty drunk right now. Before we add our sauce, let it yeah. go off, boss. Maybe he did some duster. Whoa. All right, you two. We're this gonna so fun. add some of this here jalapeno <laughs> cheese to it. When his girlfriend was there, it sounded like he was medicated the whole time. I heard that. I heard that it sounded like he was a uh, little more slurry than usual yes. or whatever. We're gonna hmm. add. Our, uh, what's this called? The bacon horseradish cheese. Yeah, I think we should add some of that to our dogs. Yes, please. So we got this uh, habanero jalapeno, sargento. Then we're going to add some of this. Uh, I'm proud that he learned how to say sargento because he struggled with that. Uh, like he called it after he learned that it wasn't Serengeto, he still par called it that quite a few times. Bacon, yeah. and it was a he's learning. Bacon, uh, okay, he's putting even more cheese on it. Shredder's cheese. So Seem you got, seeming like it's going overkill now. Right, right, and you've got to think about the bun because the bun is only so big and it's going to split into two pieces if you put too much into it. Uh, just like a tortilla, yeah. if you try to pack too much stuff into a tortilla, you're going to blow out part of the tortilla. And this cheese is like big chunks, too. It's not even sliced thin. He should just use shredded cheese. Yeah, I was thinking that. These big-ass chunks. Yeah, look at and that. And he's adding more big chunks. Yeah. <laughs> By the time he's done with it, there's not going to be room for a brat. <laughs> No room. Just gonna be a bacon bit sandwich. Mm. That's really good cheese. Serengeto cheese. Get banned. This should be done. I'm going to very carefully transfer them to each hot dog bun and uh, put a toothpick in each one so it all stands up nice and party lock. Then we're going to add some more cheese to it. Here goes nothing. Look at the texture of these. Beautiful. Does he not have a fork? I 
Uh, <laughs> I think he does. Yeah, I, I don't know. The tool he used is a little... Interesting. Fucking cool off. Probably stick them in the oven. We get them all propped up too, so this won't <laughs> hopefully be too difficult. The, I, I wonder how long those were in there, because we don't even have a real sense of time, like how long those were cooking. But he just let them. I mean, he yeah, how yeah, long? Because he, he, they. They were in there boiling in the beer and the oil for a while, and then it looked like he drained that, and then he was still cooking them, and then he came back in his last video, and they looked all burned and messed up, and then while he was fixing these buns, I could hear them sizzling in the background even more. It's fresh off the yeah. pan. They're looking pretty black. Yeah, and all wrinkly. Yeah, that's that's how you know you cooked a hot dog or a sausage too long when it's all black and like burnt and wrinkly on the outside. Yeah. Cook them in that beer, definitely a delicious idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going as planned. Yeah, if you need toothpicks in your food to hold it together, especially multiple toothpicks, there's a problem. I could see one toothpick maybe, but like multiple, multiple toothpicks, no. I don't even see why that's necessary. Because <clears throat> the buns broke and they won't stay together now. So he oh, has... That would... Yes. Because he put too much stuff in it. That's one of Cobra's biggest problems with his cooking, is that he puts too much stuff into the meals that he makes. Hot dog buns falling apart. Hot dog buns falling apart. Never fails. What? What never fails? Fucking useless. Goddamn it, <laughs> falling apart. Yeah. Bitch. Son of a bitch. Shabisky's gonna do his world famous four gram dab. Here yeah, he goes. Four gram. Hold on, let me make sure the nail's nice and hot before I do it. My four gram dab. <laughs> Take a dab as big as my hand. Right. There, he just turned off the the oven yeah. hood. Never Finally. had yak before, so this should be interesting. You're not going to know what yak tastes like. Should be interesting, Tubes. <laughs> if he's going to stuff him like this, he needs to stop playing with this so much. You just set him up next to each other where they hold each other up. The Put him in the oven and the cheese will melt. And then you got yourself some, you some things to eat. Falls apart. It's like fiddling with them and breaking them Putting them, apart. them in the oven would be such a bad idea right now because it would cook the hot dog even more. And it's already overcooked. It is such a yeah, the whole reason watch. he's trying to put it in the oven, though, is to melt the cheese, obviously. He well, didn't accomplish that. Make these, he should have put... Make this work. He should have put the buns in the oven without the hot dog. So he used his picks to, like, hold yeah, it maybe. together, so be it. Or not cook the broths for oh, fucking 30 minutes. <laughs> not boil them. Yeah. 
That yak meat is looking delicious. Smells good. I really can honestly say I've never had it before. <clears throat> Jeffree Star is not a sponsor <clears throat> of the channel, but... How do we know he's not? Damn, I yeah, thought for sure. So let me try this. They were a sponsor. If, yeah, they, if they had a collab one day, it would be hilarious. It would be the craziest thing ever. They live in the same city. I mean, Jeffree Star lives, like, outside of, like, lives on the, like, on... A large property outside of Casper, but yeah, that would be very strange. It would be amazing. Ready for meltage. <clears throat> yes, he is. Go he does this all the time. He overcooks the meat and it, like he keeps adding stuff to it and then recooking it and then adding more stuff to it and recooking it. That's what makes it better. Got to cook it until the, the brat looks like a BBC, okay? Then you know it's just right. You got to cook it until it looks like a piece of charcoal. Yes. <coughs> I like his ring. Okay, if there's one thing it's that's cool about Cobra, it's that Cobra ring. ring. Okay. Kiss my yeah, ass. that's that's a cool ring. Everybody, please like the stream if you haven't already. Yeah, like also, make sure you're sandwich. subscribed. Not an actual fucking hot dog. An it's actual like hot, hot dog. dog. The bottom and bone stay together. The, the thing he has on his wall, when I was a kid, I had that exact thing. It's a magnetic. The dartboard? Dartboard, yeah, the exact mm. one I had. I don't think we got any more room for more cheese. Typical. <clears throat> Well, you and Cobra are about the same age. Never goes We're basically the same. Me, Did man. you? Were you born in '91? Yeah. Yep. Same year as Cobra. What? Uh, which one? Oh month? wow, he's '91. Yeah. August '29. Okay, so Cobra's like slightly older than you because he just had his birthday in March. So Cobra's like oh. a few months older than you. That's all right. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. And he looks so much younger than I do. Cool. It's crazy. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. It's true. He does. <laughs> Everybody can agree with that. <clears throat> he's going to add more cheese. So there's it, no way doesn't... that after this. He's going to put he it in the oven. No, 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 no. No, I mean, like, multiple of these hot dogs are then taken and stored and then eaten days later. After they're you'll put see, in the bun, you'll see. That is the craziest thing ever. We're getting like there. The, the, We're getting there. <laughs> Look like that's going to happen. Not. Bun's just going to be dried out as shit. <clears throat> and he adds more fucking cheese to it. There is <laughs> literally. He's using like the whole pack of cheese. <laughs> And what it is, you can tell it's sliced cheese that he's just like bending, or or is it like a block of cheese? It actually might be a block of cheese, and he's just like breaking it into pieces. <coughs> the other look like a block. These look like thick slices. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> At this point, no, like he just needs to get normal bread and make a sandwich. Like, yep. said, don't even go for hot dogs. Go for a big sandwich, dude. Yeah, or or you could eat the sausages, you know, with like a fork and a knife. You know, like what if I go to a German restaurant, they serve the sausages to you like that, like with with like a fork and a knife and uh, sauerkraut and like different types of mustard, and that's that's usually like what you get at like a traditional like Bavarian or restaurant. I've been been to one restaurant like that before yeah and it, <clears throat> they, they serve you beer in like a super big mug like a giant mug um like a whole huh. like a whole uh liter worth of beer in like one big mug we, yeah we have a few places like that in the seattle area this food hack <laughs> food hack how was it a hack it was the hack part the oven. Get it heated up to, uh, it's a food hack I, it's a hack. How does he hack it? Like, I remember the term like life hack. So is it like, 
is he trying to say he made something easier or more efficient or cheaper? Because I don't think any of that is true or better in any way. How is yeah, this a hack? Like he just doesn't understand the meaning of a of a of a hack. Is it like, like someone like hacked into your computer and like fucked everything <laughs> up kind of hack? Like you get like a malicious virus on your computer kind of hack? This this is how to make your brats actually like, taste good. Hack. Like like someone like hacks into your computer <laughs> and gets all your information and open and like takes out a bunch of loans in your name. <laughs> kind of hack? Is it like that? 50. <laughs> Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! After here, all here, that, here, here comes the shredded cheese now. <laughs> now we got some uh, Mexican style fucking cheese. This is the uh, four cheese blend. Four do, cheese do you blend. Some, Mexican. Do you want some food with your cheese, Cobra? <laughs> On top of that yeah, he's adding Lu he calls it Lucrane. It's Lucerne is how you say it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a, I always that's the cheese in my fridge is that right there yeah. what he has and yeah, I don't get why he doesn't just pronounce it Lucerne. It's pretty like straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> Never had yak before. I think Lou Crane it, it, uh, was Frazier's cousin. Or so this should be interesting to say the least. It'll definitely be cheesy. Well, my girlfriend Jessica is a huge Jeffrey Star fan. And she wanted to try these. She didn't get a chance to, and I don't want the food going to waste, so I'm gonna try them. <coughs> Sturgis is looking for me. <laughs> Bud. Oh Bud. Sturgis is an angry little dwarf. He wants to play Gideo games with me. Gideo games. You look good. Yay. Want to add sauce to them when they're done. He's taking a mouthful of cheese right there. You see that? Yeah, yeah. He's just throwing. That's another thing he does when he cooks. He. That's probably why he doesn't eat right away and just saves it because he's like snacking on the ingredients of the food the whole time he's making it. The sauce I'm going to add to it yeah. is. <clears throat> ben is red. Shabisky is blue. Cobes loves food hacks that ends up looking like poo. <laughs> that's a good <laughs> one. Great poem. Some Hidden wow. Valley Ranch. A little bit Amazing. of horseradish. Set your fireworks off, people. Set your fireworks off, people. <laughs> <laughs> That's like good. That. Good quote. That's a new one. I, I have heard of we'll using. It needs to be a dono be... thing or something. This one or this other stuff that I got. You got some. I, I do like horseradish, too. But uh, why? There's already too much stuff on this. <laughs> That or this stuff right here. So it's going to be horseradish and ranch in the end. Ranch? Why? Wait, he's he's going to add ranch to it right now. And he's horseradish. Shit. Why does he do this? Why does he add Six things that shouldn't be cooked to the stuff before it gets cooked? It's a hack. Oven. It's a hack, yeah. And uh, get the shit. Shit rolling, dude. I don't care when he adds it. It doesn't need to be in it. He doesn't need ranch. Well, it's weird as fuck to cook the ranch. Like, if you're going to have ranch on something, like, cooking it, that's fucking weird. Like, <laughs> let those get all nice and melted on top. Oh, Yay. Like a hawk. All right, so that's that part. Here's the next one. These Yay. are looking delicious. Took them out of the oven. Just now, the cheese is all melted. I'll let these sons of bitches cool off with all that melted cheesy goodness on top of the bacon bits. And when they cool off, I'm gonna add some sauce to one of them and try it. Ain't gonna lie, oh, these yeah. look pretty good. <clears throat> Fix me a little drink combo, hold on a second. 
This drink combo consists of Old Smoky Tennessee Moonshine, the White Lightning flavor. Grab a cup. Pour a splash of that in there. Just Damn. Like that. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that's a nice splash. So a sp just a splash of moonshine. <laughs> Yeah. Just a splash. Just a pond. Just a pool of it. So let these hot dogs cool off. And then some sun kissed mango orange. Make some mango <clears throat> orange lightning. Look out. Okay, so far this is alright. Drink up. I don't like that soda, but whatever. That I'll yak meat this. smelling pretty good, man. It's, All that cheese it's gonna is ruin it. Melted on top of so, the next. So right now the the shit is in the oven. Dogs. Yeah. Let them cool off. And I'm gonna hit one of these with some sauce here in a bit once they're all cooled off. But they look and smell delicious. And take the toothpicks out before we eat them, of course. Is he really just drinking that? I'm this surprised. This is the most normal. Yeah, this is the most normal drink co drink combo he's ever done. Well, like just some soda. I guess that's I guess that's sunshine. compensating uh, for the. Cobes himself is the food dogs. hack if you consider cooking to be an art form. Okay. Hell yeah, he's an artist. Exactly. He's a sandwich artist. True. Uh, yes, he's amazing. Eat that shit, Cobes. Yeah, Eat that me. ball of cheese. What an abomination. All right, here. <laughs> All right, so this video was released a matter of hours ago, okay? So here's the result of that food hack. I had to reheat it to do a review. I've already had like two of them. They're pretty good, <laughs> although I have not tried it with the sauce. For the sauce, we're gonna use a tasty combination of some Hidden Valley Ranch. <clears throat> no! And some horseradish. Wait, oh, I thought he added uh, it before it got DX no. Company. Oh, okay. He's done that kind of shit before. Oh, yeah, he has. Props and cooks it. He has. Surprise. Fine, YouTube. Yeah, you jerk that horseradish. Fuck yeah, Cobes. Yeah, you get every last drop, Cobes. Fuck yeah. I think I bought more horseradish from a different company. That one's almost out. I take off my coat here. We're hearing a washer? Yeah, I think so. It's like a washer. This house is so damn noisy. Actually, I don't think... Uh, it might be a dishwasher, but I don't think his yeah. laundry is in I'll his apartment. I'll be place at the end of the month. I'm not worried about mm. that. <clears throat> in the meantime, let's just uh, show you where this is at. Got the dishwasher running, doing some yep. dishes. Dishwasher. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because I saw uh, his laundry room in his apartment complex was flooded by his girlfriend, and that was, you know, he's getting kicked out of his apartment. Oh, I didn't hear about yeah. that. Yeah, and by the way, yeah, this looks gross.
I can't uh, believe Yeah, it. I was about to say, like, holy crap, there's so much condiments on top. It's just a slop of, of fucking, um, what was it? Uh, horseradish and, uh, and, um, what was the other one? Horseradish and ranch. No, ranch, yeah. That's just like One of the Jeffree thing. Star's Yak Bratwursts. Yak. My girlfriend is a fan of Jeffree Star, so that's why uh, I have it. And it's food. Take the toothpicks out. Damn, he's a pro at this shit. I wouldn't have left. <clears throat> I would have left the toothpicks in and just bit into it. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, eat that shit, Cobes. Fuck yeah. You like that? Fuck yeah, Cobes. <laughs> with, a, with a good bit of editing, there could, this it could be very sexualized, both this and the horseradish part. Oh, I think someone should do that. Ah. Do it, do it, do it. Putting the horseradish and ranch on top is actually a great idea. That complements the spiciness of everything else going here. <laughs> I love the angle he chose for this. Somebody took this, a picture of him eating the hot dog, and took another picture of Ozzy Osbourne, where it looks like Ozzy Osbourne's naked, and it makes it look like he's blowing Ozzy Osbourne. That's funny. Yeah. That's good. <clears throat> it's on the Reddit. Uh, Frank, and I'll be streaming probably after this show. Something like that. So we're done with this creamy goodness. These uh, yak bratwursts are pretty delicious, YouTube. The bacon bits on top are a nice touch. Why? No. This, uh, bacon horseradish. Wait, is he adding more? No, he's or just yeah. talking about how it's good. How do you, I don't even know if he knows uh, what yak tastes like. He, like, nuked the sausage and added all this other stuff to YouTube. it. Yeah. He likes everything he cooks. There are some allegations surrounding Jeffree Star. I don't know if they're true or not. But regardless, fuck sickos. Regardless. <laughs> yeah, we should all fuck and, sickos. Uh, these are uh, yak brat meats, bratwursts. Yak meat's delicious. Not sure what I call it taste on it, but it just tastes like a hot dog. I never had yak before, so it's something new. Yak is just like a like another. It's like cow adjacent. It's a lot like a cow. They just they're yeah. na they're native to like China, like parts of China. Have you ever had yak? Yeah, I've had a yak burger before. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I haven't. I tried yak. Um. <clears throat> oh damn. Yeah. So that's that's that. He took two bites out of it. It looks disgusting. And then and, now he's throwing it up. And that's what he made two days ago. It's amazing. Wow. It was it was crunchy and and nasty. Yes. Tasted just like charcoal. Just like he expected. Let's check out uh I oh. don't know who ever told Josh that he looks like Ozzy Osbourne. <clears throat> he doesn't. I see no resemblance. I, however, see a likeness for Baz from 90s Britpop band Supergrass. Supergrass. Yeah, I don't remember what those guys look like. I do remember them, though. All right. Let's check out... <clears throat> Let's check well, out antagonism. Check Here we go. Whoa! Turn off the goddamn internet! Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. TPO, they're gonna touch me. 
Here's uh, have you ever seen Cyrax? Uh, you're uh, you're from. Yeah, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll okay. Fix it. Uh, oh, I definitely know who Cyrax is. Uh, I don't know much of him though. I know who he is, but I know very little of him. He's like a little troll, like a disgusting little. Mm. You know. Yeah, like uh, I guess he's a really bad person, but I don't know much about him. I just know he's he's very oh, beautiful. Yeah. He's a, sicko. a very beautiful person. That's all I know. He's on the sicko. outside. Here's uh, here's some recent stuff from Cyrax. Well, y'all, so I am about Just to explain. Just imagine Combs some... making a steak with a filet mignon or Kobe beef, which no. you ruin and perhaps pronounce them wrong. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> um, actually, I'm gonna play this other video first. From... All right, so I'm gonna keep Look at all the scabs on his head. Just... Yeah, that was yeah. that was why I reacted that way. He didn't he didn't look nearly as bad and the last one is like this where you see the the uh, going you know on his cyrax head. claims to be quite a talented musician I yeah i was just about here. to say i didn't know we plays piano i want to watch and we're oh boy. my god it's so scabby why you've been lying to yourself this whole time my boy and you want to know why you've been lying to yourself the answer is quite simple man i think he's like four foot eleven or something like that too i think he's like really little wow really oh yeah I want to know why his head is so scabby. The reason why you lie to yourself is because you're jealous of my talent. You're too fucking <laughs> lazy to get off your motherfucking ass and do something with your life. Well, that's all it is. See, I have a millionaire mindset that's being held back by little bitches <laughs> like you because little faggots like you don't want to see me win. <gasps> and why don't word. you want to see me win? Because according to you, just like every fucking wannabe woke fucking moron woke? in this world, what? you think that the we wannabe woke? I don't, I, I don't even know if he knows what that means. This guy don't deserve shit. You don't believe that I'm a pedophile? <laughs> <clears throat> He's been... Kind of like how Jared's been catfished a bunch of times. Cyrax has been, mm -hmm. like, catfished, you know, yeah. by, like, fake 10-year-olds, and he, like, says some weird, sh creepy shit to them. You know damn well you yeah. don't believe it. Deep down. I don't know. I'm a, I don't even know much about you, but I'm starting to believe it. I don't know. Jealous of me. That's why you... Oh, yeah, he, he also does the, you guys are just jealous of me, like... Lolcal 101. You're jealous of me. I'm I'm jealous. I got to be I, I he got that cool Linkin Park album. I don't have that album. Okay? Yeah. Still Pretty jealous. Work. Because you're jealous of my talent. I do have I real fans out there. I do have real fans out there. I do. No, he doesn't. Yeah, j that's that's a Jared like characteristic. He thinks he thinks he has like all these fans that genuinely like him, but the he's not famous. He's infamous. There's a difference. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a pretty weird thing to be like. I I do actually have fans out there. They exist. I swear. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like that. That's a very weird kind of relationship he has with the internet because I I definitely would never have to say that because even even at my smallest point, there's there's a couple of fans or whatever there at were, least. There, there no. are these trolls that went outside of his house and, like, protested, like, in the street in front of his house, and he came out with a baseball bat and attacked them, mm -hmm. and then the cops came and arrested him because he attacked someone with a baseball bat. You can't yeah. do that, you know? That's not nice. No. That's not very nice to do. And then there was another guy before that who got an Airbnb down the street from his house, like, like right down the road. C-Rex looks like mm -hmm. a reject from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do the time warp again. The only reason why you're trying to stop me from... But yeah, yeah, this other guy got an Airbnb down the road from him, and he, like, showed up and tried to fight the guy and got his ass kicked. Because he's a little gremlin. I hope the thing behind wow. C-Rex eats him. 
Oh, I didn't even notice that thing there. It's probably a mask that he wears or something. It's not. It's not more horrifying he, than his real face. I was though. about to say that he should wear that. It looks. It looks nicer. Um, yeah. I really want to see him play the piano or whatever. I hope there's some sort of footage of that out there. I so, I'm sure someone can send me like his music. Go. So if they don't hear it, it's because you know damn well that my music speaks the motherfucking truth. My he has, like, the head of a sick, like, 50-year-old man in the body of, like, a 10-year-old. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Shit uh. fucking speaks to people, dude. That's why you're scared. You don't want people to hear the fucking truth. About how you're a scumbag little scam artist. And who but is he talking to right now? <laughs> Someone called N-Word Boy. Oh, yeah, I know them. That's one of his trolls. That's all I know. <clears throat> Someone no, named okay. N-Word Boy. <clears throat> Something I don't see through your lies, boy. It's my favorite YouTuber, N-Word Boy. Oh, really? You're a fan yeah, I of love the him. N-Word yeah, Boy? Yeah, I like yeah, I, I like all of his videos. Every, everybody, oh, make sure to check yeah. out Inward Boy. Who's the king? You are! Yeah, that's so <laughs> funny. Yeah, he, like, grabbed him and, like, held him down on the ground. And, uh... Oh, it was like, I remember seeing that. And he was like, who's yeah. the king? And <clears throat> Cyrax is like, you are! He sounded like that, like he was crying. Because I'm yeah, like, I you, I'm not a little. woke little bitch. I just see the truth about what's really going on out there in the world. He was involved in a freak transporter accident like Tuvix. Tuvix? I like, yeah, he was, he's like, a, okay, who were the two people in the in the transporter? Because, like, Tuvix was Neelix and Tuvok in the transporter. They became one person. It was like a perfect, like, combination of those two people. Who were the two people that created Cyrax in the transporter? <clears throat> Cause that's that's an interesting thing. He does look like a weird combination of something. <clears throat> you know what's funny, inward boy? Cut. Me and you have a lot more in common than what you think. Oh yeah. Wait, wait. Cyrax is black. He's at one Holy point. Shit. <laughs> I didn't know that. At one point, I was just like you. I was lazy, didn't want to work, didn't feel like I had a passion in life, didn't feel like my fucking life was going to go anywhere. It hasn't gone anywhere. Your life has gone nowhere. He's a, a celebrity kid, now. Baby. I didn't think my life was going to go anywhere at all. He's, he's, a, he's very similar to Jared. He's very similar to Jared. Yeah. He, but he like lives with his grandmother, who is basically his mother, you know. So he has like an old lady that takes care of him, and he sits in his room with his toys all day, and is a is a weirdo, and he's really dumb, and it's yeah, very much like he's Jared. an artist. Ben, he makes music. Okay, he's an artist. But then I found music, and let me tell you, man. Music saved my motherfucking life on more than one occasion. Oh, yeah? Music is the reason why I'm still alive today. Holy shit. Music is the reason why I haven't taken my own life. Oh. oh. Thank you so much. I have it here. Thank you. Music fucking saved me, dude. <clears throat> Doesn't he have rap music, he though? Get... Doesn't he have, like, some rap songs? I thought that's what he mainly did. If you have some of that, I'd like to see that too. Oh, I'd love to listen so when to them rap. Out these that songs, would be beautiful. Oh my god! And I write these songs and I record great. these songs. That's a part of me that I'm putting out there. That's a part of me. You hear? Yeah. That's, part that's of me, me telling the truth about a time and a subject and something that I was going through or something that I dealt with. Cyrax's transporter accidents between Bob and Ricky Burwick. T Bob and Ricky Burwick. <sighs> oh God, Ricky Burwick. Yeah. Don't don't disrespect. 
Don't disrespect Ricky Berwick's name like that, God damn it. Well, he, it wasn't awesome. his fault he was in a transporter accident. Like being pushed around by fucking nobodies Fair, like fuck. you. People like you are a fucking disease to this world. Damn. Says the diseased-looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> you take people that have made fucking mistakes and you attack them. Okay. And you make them feel less than dirt. You make them feel like they can't correct themselves. Damn. Well, I'm here to tell you, man, you're a poopy doopy fart I have fans. learned my lesson a long time ago. And if you think that you're going to fucking stand in my way any further, you're fucking fooling yourself, dude. Because let me tell you, man, I'm not going to let you stand between me. He has one of those, like, cheap samurai swords. I was, yeah, I was looking at that. That's what that is. Good thing he didn't bring that out in, instead of oh the my bag. God. That. It's probably not even <laughs> sharpened. It's probably like a display sword that's not that's not even sharp. Me or my fan yeah. base anymore. Like I told you before, the last time we were on Marty's panel, dude, uh. I'm taking back my motherfucking work. Stone Holy Boy! Shit. Thank you, Swellshank. Is, stream, is Streamlabs giving you issues again, Swellshank? That's fine. Swellshank's also the MVP of YouTube memberships. Swellshank was hooking it up with the YouTube memberships. Which I already have. I've taken oh, back all my songs that was you've that stolen from the person from me. that did all those when, I, when we were doing yep. a stream? We, yep. They gifted a bunch. Okay, yep. yeah, they boss it up. Yep. <clears throat> Including Stream Residency. Which is a major fan favorite. Marty! <clears throat> It's funny, Marty. you sit there and say that I don't have fans, but here's the thing. You don't have I fans. I do have fans. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. <laughs> He's trying really hard to convince himself, but he doesn't. I'll be I'll become a fan if we listen to his music and oh, I like it. Then I'll, after I'll this be video's a, over. Fan. After this video's uh, yeah. over, I'll play <laughs> I'll for you some of his fan. music. And let me so, tell yeah. you, they are fucking pissed at you. Oh, his fans are mad at n-word boy they don't like yeah, you pissed. they hate your ass i'm unsubscribing and my fans they Stone want boy. to see me succeed motherfucker <laughs> but you you're a jealous little fucking bitch <clears throat> who's too fucking lazy to get off his ass and put in the work but yet i put in the work every fucking day all day long while you're sleeping i'm up working oh, while you're sitting there running Stone Boy, yes, it's, uh, Super Chats are a little delayed, so it just yeah. now came through. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Your mouth about me on the internet like a fucking moron. Guess what? I'm putting in work. Why do you think <laughs> I'm not on as much, you stupid Does he have fuck? a Jorb? Probably not. His Jorb is to make it's music, make art. I'm putting in work. Funny. You yeah. always talk about this and that and the other. How, oh, you can get a real job, you can do this. No, I can't. Yes, you can. You only say I can because you Wait, what the fuck? What is he putting in work in all day then? He, if he, he can't probably get... makes bad music or a something. regular job so <laughs> that you can call out there and get me fired. That's all it is. Which is why I'm never going to get a regular job. And to be quite honest, I don't want a regular job. Of course you don't. I want to turn my passion... And what I love to do into my fucking job, into my career. And if you think I'm just going to sit down and let you fucking push me aside and... You've been sitting down this whole time. I'm just saying. Keep me from <laughs> doing what I want. You're fucking dumb. You're fucking full of yourself, you fucking idiot. Because I'm not going to let some punk ass little bitch like you... That thinks he you more than likely just based on statistics, you are more likely the little bitch between yourself and whoever you're talking about, because you're a very very small little guy. He talks a really big game, but he is a very very little guy, like way like way below average size for a, for an adult man. Yeah, didn't you say he was under five foot? That's yeah, whew, that's tiny. Yeah. He might be five feet even, but he's not. I, I mean, like, I've seen the videos of him with other around other people. He is very small.
runs my life when you mm. fucking don't. Stand in my motherfucking way of what I want to do with my life. And I trust in what I say. And look at boy, his shoulders. I, like, look at the size of his head compared to his shoulders. Yeah. It's, um, like like you and me, we both have shoulders, you know, like our shoulder, like our neck is here and our shoulders come all the way out to here. <laughs> like his shoulders are like, like right next to his neck. It's the weirdest yeah, thing. It's almost like he um, is putting his arms out on purpose here to try to look bigger in the video. I, I don't know. Is that normal for him to have this kind of triangle yeah, he has, shape with his body? Yes. I got a I wonder if that's just him trying to compensate for how small he is by I like, think he just by, has like trying to skinny little arms that like I don't know. Team that's ready to fucking go against your ass. Yeah, it's almost like he doesn't it, even own shoulders when you look at it's like it's just show, there's no shoulders. There yeah. it just goes from neck, neck to, to arms. Yeah, no shoulder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you that's think so... I'm fucking scared of you, I'm not. Like I said, you can sit there and talk all the shit that you want. But all you are is another fucking bitch-ass pussy sitting behind the keyboard pretending to be a little badass. That's all you are. You're a little fucking keyboard warrior nobody. Better take some notes. You don't really know much about Cyrax since he w w was... Oh, yeah, Mortal Kombat. Nobody will convince me that oh. Cyrax is not Grendel from Beowulf. He's so goddamn yeah. ugly. <laughs> um, yeah, Negan. I'll, I'll take notes, Negan. Take notes. Um, by the way, guys, I, I would humbly ask if those of you who are not in the DP Discord join and also in the Discord, send me some content to watch on the streams. I think there might be a drought on Cobra content for because uh, he's going to have to be moving, and I'm guessing he has till the end of this month to move. So I don't think we'll see that much content out of him. Uh, and, you know, we'd, we'd yeah, be happy to check sense. out some other stuff. Somebody pretending to be a somebody, just like Eddie and just like Marty. Immoral combat. You're a nobody. Yeah, it's this thing Negan's trying to trying to do. Oh. Or, yes, or talk about glory. people like Cyrax who are very immoral people. There is a character they're... named Cyrax in Mortal Kombat, though. It's one of the robot characters. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, huh. Yeah. That's interesting. Yep. Huh. What a coincidence. And, yeah, cool. yeah. Yep. There's, a, I believe, like Sector and Cyrax. Or nobody. Just like Kate. A.K. Mastro Mafia, you're a loser. You're a nobody. And I call you a loser because of what you do. And the funny thing is, is that Cyrax wears yellow. Uh, like the the Mortal Kombat character Cyrax, he, he's yellow all the time. Yeah. Yeah. He's in yellow. He did Only that just loser. for us for this joke. <laughs> That's so amazing. Do the shit that you fucking do. Only an individual who hates themselves does the Wonder shit that you do. Word, huh? Anyone who does this shit is just because you hate yourself. Oh, I said you don't have to convince me. We hate me ourselves? Is that why we Yeah, you don't now? hate yourself? Probably. Because I see right through it, man. I've been studying you for a while. <laughs> I've been studying see, you. you hate yourself because Damn. you ain't got the balls to get up and do what I do. You got a whole You're whiteboard with all of all sorts of shit. That's like why lines you steal going to... my videos. That... <laughs> That's He's why you sit him. there and consistently lie on counterclaims, which, by the way, is a felony because I did look into it, and a YouTube counterclaim does count as a legal document. Doesn't mean it's a felony. I mean, not that you care. Because I mean, you did openly admit to stealing my work. That didn't even make any sense. He said it's a, it's a felony, and then he said it just it, it, it it's a document, that and the, explaining why it's supposed to. But that doesn't explain why it's supposed to be a felony. Yeah. Like, not like. Caring about the laws. Non sequitur. You already fucking admitted that. 
And you want to know why I refuse to apologize for everything that went on? Because I know exactly what you'll do. What will you do? You and everybody else will use it against me. Just like you try to use everything against me. He's picking the scabs oh, off picking, of his head. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so nasty. What if he uh, eats it? Uh, but yeah, shout shout out to Andy there. Thank what you. A cool guy came over here. Um, but yeah, that's nasty. I was wondering whether we we're gonna see him scratch his because I'd imagine with that, like he's sitting there scratching his head all fucking day ah. and shit, and it's like, oh, uh, like how, why? Like, what's the problem? Put some <laughs> lotion on your head. Is it drying out? Use lotion. I, I, it's horrific. I don't know what it yeah. is. Does he have like? Is it like bed sores on his head or something? No. I'm not stupid. Yes, you are. Therefore, <laughs> you are. I will never apologize. He's a genius. I've already apologized enough for my mistakes. I ain't apologizing no more. So, Edward Boy, do yourself a favor and get the fuck off of YouTube. <laughs> yet, get the fuck off of social media. Go outside, touch some grass. Do like you're oh always God. telling me to do. That touch some grass shit is old. People go get a that. regular job. I don't know. He's like, I can't work a regular job, but how about you go do that? Just like you're always. I've heard Jared recently tell people to go get a job too. Yeah. Yeah. He's telling me to do. You're always telling me to go get a regular job. Why don't you do it? Why don't you have a regular job? No, you. No, you. No, you. No, you're yeah, an yeah. idiot. Why don't you I know you down, are, but what am have I? Have some kids. Get married. Have some kids. Do something. Stop oh, sitting God. there typing away on your fucking Cheeto-crusted fucking keyboard about how I'm this and I'm... Hey, that's cool ranch Doritos, I'll have you know. I'm that. And you know what's the people fun? that say like that act like people should get get married and have kids, like that should be everybody's life goal. Those people are fucking annoying, and it's super fucking ironic. Yes. for him to say that's that. That's the it's biggest like, issue. That's the yeah the, the the fact that he ever had a girlfriend ever like, and I remember seeing some footage of her yeah. like trying to kiss him and like yeah gagging a little bit. That something. is that should it, show just, you that like. Anyone who is like a complete incel, there's like, it's a problem with them, not society. Because if Cyrax can find a girlfriend, that's like, how? How did that happen? Yeah, and <clears throat> this guy, like, oh, he's, he's something else. You sit there and call me a pedophile, but yet I've had police. I've had FBI agents. I've had detectives. Okay. All out here. And they all say the same thing. That I'm not a fucking pedophile. <laughs> they all said that everything. to you? I've showed them everything. I've showed them the shit with Kate, with Tibbs, and they all say the same thing. That I'm not a pedophile. That you guys Maybe they say that they can't charge you with anything because you're right. messaging somebody that's just acting like they're 10 years old and stuff doesn't come to some sort of legal thing where he can actually charge you. So legally, you're not, but you still are if you were trying to hook up with some little kid. Targeting me like, for money. What the fuck? I mean, let's be honest, man. That's why you do all this, right? Because you want to make that bank off me. You make that money bank. off of me getting angry. And are you making that when, bank off him? That bank? Yeah. Here's the thing. That bank. Those days of me getting angry are done and over. I uh, doubt it. Those days are gone. They're never coming back. I'm pretty sure they're coming back. You have no self-control. He also claimed to be really good at this racing game. I think he called himself the Drift King or something. And uh, it turns out he was, like, cheating or something. I don't know the whole backstory <laughs> to it. But he, he took a lot of pride in being good at this racing video game. 
from they people. They truly are food. never coming back, dude. And like I've told Eddie and multiple people, the troll way of life is dying. You are literally a dying breed. How's it dying? Your kind will soon perish. To the <laughs> your of YouTube. kind. The yes, drama doesn't last forever, dude. I mean, what are you going to do in 20, 30 years from now when everybody else has moved on, including myself? 20, 30 years from now? What are you going to do? I doubt your grandmother's still going to be around. What are you going to do? You still going to sit there and spout that same fucking old ass bullshit? No, at some point you'll get old and they'll move on to somebody else. Yep. Uh, that's what it is. Sorry. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Because I can see you doing just like Marty intends to do, more than likely. Marty's Unless the guy that... It. Marty's the guy that beat him up and was like, who's the king? His head out of his ass. Nah, yeah. I can see you doing just like he wants to do. Living the rest of his life, going after some dude on the internet that you don't even fucking know. I mean, even though you like to think you do, you actually don't. So, I mean, there is that. Yeah, T-Bob has Cyrax's head, has the top of Cyrax's head all over his face. You. But, uh, like I said, N-word boy. I was really... <laughs> When I was watching your stream the other day and there was a guy talking shit in the chat, it was such a mind blower when all of a sudden you're like, yeah, that's T-Bob in the chat. And I'm like, I, I didn't have no idea that that was yeah. supposed to be him. It was him. <clears throat> yeah, that's so funny. Uh, yeah. And he's talking about how everybody's delusional and stuff. And Everybody, shit but about not him. Ears. Not him. Yeah, he's funny. And in my fucking way anymore. I won't allow it. Uh, King Cobra's feet are like Cyrax's head and T-Bob's yeah, face. Yeah. Yes. They are. But you can just, you can just combine them and make one big scab. Yep. And that's working with me. <laughs> they won't allow it either. And trust me, I do have people working with me. I do have do a you? legal team that is working with me. With what? That music? Fully... Is he talking about music? I working with them with what? you down if you do not stop. No, I think he means to, like, shut down troll channels or something. Oh, that. So, oh, stop it. He yeah. needs to shut up with that shit. So this like, is trolls what? are... Yeah, that's, that's a dying breed. They're going to go away. It's no, my team. Pe people fucking with each other is always going to be there. People are always going to want to fuck with each other. My fair warning, not only from me, um, but also on behalf of them. Stop now. Stop all this bullshit. Stop stealing my shit. Stop attacking me and reporting me and doing all this dumb shit. And we won't have no problems. Nah. But if you do not stop... Dude, this is the worst get attempt to get the trolls to stop ever. Stop! Like, yeah, I got, stop, I've got some stuff in the workings. And uh, like, I got a like team. nobody's gonna take it serious. All this is gonna do it ins is instigate more trolling. Obviously, it doesn't take a genius to see that. And you will be forced to stop. So either you're just, you're just giving them the entertainment you can stop they on want on your own, or you can continue down this dumbass path you're going. And I won't even have to lift a finger for my legal team to come after you. Guys, <laughs> legal team. Oh, man. And that's He's no joke. They will be on. coming after you if you do not stop. And they will shut you down. I'm and scared. they will make sure that you do not fuck with me on Quit any side. Your axe. Quit socking yeah. me. We're at 35%. I was... I'm. I'm I'm really hoping we can get to at least 50 during tonight's show, uh, if, if you guys would be so kind. Uh, please like the stream, if you haven't already, and subscribe. Double check. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Again, whether yeah. it's YouTube, whether it's Twitch, no matter what. 
Because what you're doing to me is a form of harassment. By the way, he attacked a guy with a baseball bat and did no damage whatsoever to him. Oh, so he hit the person with He it. tried to, but <clears throat> the, the other guy was so much bigger than him. And the, the other guy wasn't like this yeah. insanely huge guy. He was just way bigger <clears throat> than him. And he just like yeah, took the bat from him. Say- yeah, as small as you say he is, I'd imagine I could just grab the bat yeah. while he swings it and just just take it from him, and he would just look at me like, oh, like yeah. <laughs> if but he's, he's that, if he's under five feet, that's tiny. He still that attacked him with the bat though, so he got arrested. He screamed like a yeah. fucking injured animal, like like. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, and it needs to stop. So, like I said, man, it's your call. Either your call, back man. off and leave me the fuck alone. Or my legal team. Or my actual legal team. <laughs> legal team! <laughs> I like how he puts actual My actual it's legal it. team. <laughs> it's act- <laughs> my actually real legal team. I it's, swear, it's really real. That's it's totally not real. fake. Yeah, totally not super fake. I swear. Will be taking matters into their own hands, and they will force you to stop. How Did matters you- into when normally when I hear someone like they're taking matters into their own hands, that means they're gonna like do something like like physical to somebody. Uh, yeah, that's a wrong use of words. Yeah, like, like talking about like, hey, my legal team is going after you. Um, that's, <clears throat> that's not a taking matters into their own it. hands. Yeah. yeah. What is yeah, that? No, that's like a threat. Your last warning. To not that it's a re- like, it's an idle threat, but you know, back off. I think he's just like too unaware of, of things to be able to wa- talk correctly. He seems to oh. use words wrong a lot. So oh, I think he just, he's highly regarded. He doesn't right? even, <clears throat> yeah. He doesn't even mean it that way. He's just trying to say something that fits Mm -hmm. with it, but it doesn't really fit that well with it. It, It's very, doesn't really fit well. We are going to watch his, some of his music stuff. Just want to take a minute to promote the, the, the DP pre-show that we do. There's a a, a pre-show and it's available live through our audio podcast platform. So it's right there. It's it's in the chat. I just posted it there. You can go there, and after we're done here, uh, you can check out the pre-show. It's like eight Click minutes long. Click it's, the link in the chat. Yeah, there you go. Guys. It helps Click support it. the show. All right, here here he is. Yay! Oh, God. Here the bass. Huh? <laughs> it's like a bass. I don't um, think it's a bass. I think it's a guitar. No, okay. Okay. Ha! It just fell. What the fuck? He, <clears throat> he probably doesn't have a stand, and he probably set it up against something, and it slipped. Yeah, takes really good what? care of his stuff. First of all, the ground of that, it's like... Eh. So he might have, like, yeah. a bad cable. He has a didgeridoo, also. I can see it in the, oh, uh, in the yeah. back right corner. The top here in the book in the right corner. <laughs> what a professional. I can't wait to come to another show. <clears throat> it's an amazing start. really tell this is his passion <laughs> oh. no way what how do you mess up this no way, I'm broke he's gonna fucking put the damn strap back on and don't want to stay on Oh, and as for you motherfucking trolls, y'all need to fuck off. <laughs> fuck the trolls. They're a dying breed. God damn it. Uh, here is... I guess this is some of his other music. Oh, 
Hey, yo. So these haters think they're gonna stop me. <laughs> nice try, y'all. You ain't stopping me. Everybody always trying to not me Saying that I ain't the chosen one Telling me how dare you call yourself the chosen huh? one Well, guess what motherfuckers I am the chosen one And I'm the one that's come to disrupt Every ounce of negativity that you throw my way I guarantee you that I'm throwing every single hater in the trash Man, I'm knocking them all away Y'all just mad that you ain't stopping me was that words that he just said? Me on the trail chief the one that you I'm, wish I you know could what he's saying. Be I'm knocking every single ounce of hatred off of me. Ain't no knocking me, ain't no stopping me. I'm oh, oh, you know what? Negan said that this is actually a Shabisky rap that was <laughs> sent <laughs> yes. by mistake. This is me back in the day. Uh, I'm I don't give a fuck. Really you find me, then. troll me, put me. I, I talked really fuck. weird. Y'all just no, it's exactly the same. Man, cause I'm <laughs> getting under your skin, and you know it's true. So, <gasps> what the fuck you gonna oh. do? I don't give a fuck about what you say to me. I he hasn't written anything, and this is like the worst freestyle ever, cause it's just like nonsense. Yeah, um, he started it by rhyming the same word three times. <clears throat> staying on and that. I think he's done a little bit more since then. We just rhymes the same thing. Grind on the motherfucking daily, so don't think for a second that you stop me. Hell no, I've got the Holy Spirit running deep within me. On the See, he puts the work in. He puts the work in. Why don't you go get a job at Walmart? Huh? Why don't you go get a job at McDonald's? He puts the work in. He puts the work in. All right? Damn, he's so amazing. He can rap so well. The flow is impeccable. And and his voice is is beautiful, just beautiful. Like Kanye, like Eminem, Fifty Cent, they would all be jealous to hear how just amazing his voice sounds like a, on a track. Like, wow, like like, you know what I'm saying? Chosen one, the chosen son, the one that ain't ever given up. I've got the heart and the soul of a warrior. Ain't no knocking me, warrior. ain't no dropping me, ain't nobody ever gonna fuck stop me. Yeah, you think what? that you're knocking me off hell? Nah, I'm just getting nah. started. Guarantee you that I'm rolling through every single hater like a fucking roadblock. While I'm making my way to the top, ain't no way I'm ever gonna fall off. Ain't no way I'm ever gonna bend down. I'm here to stay. So y'all haters better just turn right around and walk away. Y'all are just mad cause I'm getting under your skin every single day. Ain't no robbing me. Ain't Nobody knocking me, I'm going all the way, I'm going straight to the top. So God, go he ahead like, and exactly like DMX. It's amazing. Yeah. With that raspy, he's got that raspy voice just like yeah. DMX. Don't you guys agree? Everybody agrees, I'm sure, in the chat. Just like DMX. Stop me on the tribal chief Roman Reigns. I'm running right through everything. He's the tribal chief Roman Reigns. Yeah. That's for, that's a wrestling whole... reference right there. One, yeah. You and laying every single fucking hater in the grave ain't no Diddy eat your heart out, Shabs. You know Cyrax loves to go down on blind boys in their sleep. Yeah, that was that's the that's a weird accusation. Blind Billy. The blind Billy accusation. Yeah, I don't know nothing about Blind Billy. I'm gonna have to learn about this. It sounds so interesting. It, wow. It's, it's uh it's uh it's never go it's away. like some Dan Schneider shit right here. There's uh Jared defended Dan Schneider in one of his recent videos. Ooh, I wanna see that. Wow, okay. Sitting on that 24-7 grind every day of my life. You don't grind? What do you mean? Staying on the grind 24-7 every single day of my life. Did you just say that? You thinking that yeah. you me, thinking that you robbing me mad. Get that weak ass, hate your bullshit out of the way. I'm here Take and it's no positive. Cyrax can teach you to become a lyrical genius and yep. also how to yes. get pussy. Pussy. Yes. For... for Right before that tip came in, he finally did a little bit of a flow switch up that was tiny. That had a little tiny bit of like like 
I, I, that's what I you look for more when when somebody's rapping to be able to fucking fucking like switch up their flow and stuff like that. He did a little bit of that right there, so I'm surprised. But, they, but he's still gonna keep with the same flow after that. But I mean, he sped it up for just a second. Oh, I'm the Holy chosen shit, one, that? the chosen one, the one that's gonna like bring the next down Eminem. every single hater up on the internet. So if I were you, I'd bet the fuck up and step the fuck off. Ain't nobody win the win. Yeah, you acting like everybody's into that negative shit. Well, here's a little bit of truth for you. Ain't nobody win the win. Wow, the flow there is so beautiful, impeccable. Guarantee you. Wow, that awkward <clears throat> pause, that was the best part. When the negativity yeah. fades away, so will everything that you try to do to me. So don't think for a second that I'm never gonna wait. Don't think you're ever gonna break me. Don't think that you can fuck take me, drop me, roll me over. Ain't no way I'm a puppet. I'm not a slave to the system. I'm not a slave to the bullying, and I'm my own man, uh, and I'm standing up for myself. The way he self, tries to like, he tries to do like, uh, uh, I don't know. The way he tries to rap, it's it starts to get gargly. He's starting to gargle in the uh, back of his uh, as he raps. Yeah, yeah, it, it's getting nasty. There's <laughs> um, there's phlegm in the back. Well, the there's the there's several videos where he's really pissed off and he kind of talks <clears throat> like that. He's like, Marty, I'm going to come and take you down. And he's all mad. Uh, yeah, it's like he's trying to talk in a specific way like here or he's trying to rap in a specific way, at least here. He's trying to put on this kind of more more. Um, God, I can't remember the word I just used to describe D how DMX raps, but that that kind of, he's trying to do a more deeper kind of voice with it and stuff, and it's just, it's getting more and more gargly and and nasty He sounding. likes to gargle, apparently. He likes, and, he likes gargling he, stuff. Apparently. Well, that you yep, yep. every single day to the very end. So don't think for a second that you're ever robbing me and knocking me. I'm here to fuck the state, so, so bad. why don't you hate us? Just... Yeah, like, when it's, like, clearly obvious that it's a freestyle like this, it, it's bad. When when people are like, dude, there's there's no way that's a re really a freestyle. He had to have written that. That's when you know it's good. Like this right. is this is like, oh yeah, he's obviously fucking freestyling here. He it, this this is pretty. It's just get it's it's been shitty from the beginning, but it gets even shittier as it goes. He's, yeah, he's he's running out of steam. Get the fuck away and go the fuck away and fuck you away. get the fuck away and go Why? the fuck away. <laughs> Damn, I could never think of that. Away, away. Get what? get. Get the fuck away and go the fuck away. Fuck away. Yeah. Stay away from me. Let me do me. Stay in your own lane then. It's too bad Cobra hates Cyrax because, man, they could make an album, like, together that would be fire, you know? Let me be. Let me do me. Because I'm here and I'm a prodigy. Take no back. Actually, I, I understand why. Cobra hates sickos, and I, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of sickos either, so I get it. Uh, the yeah. positive scene, I'm taking over the rap game. If you don't He's taking over the rap game. Move yeah. out of the way, everybody. Everyone knows that. He's been taking over, dude. Move the fuck out of the he's way. He's about to do a song with Drake and shit. Like, he's, he's blowing up, okay? He's so amazing. His flow, impeccable. Impeccable. Oh, impeccable. Just wait and see. Yeah, just wait and see. It's all me. And if he actually like what cared about what he was doing, he'd have a vocal shield for this because you get a vocal shield for rapping like this so that you have complete control over the amount of echo that's in in the vocals and everything. He just is just rapping in the middle of a room. And yeah. sometimes that works with the, the track, a specific track and stuff. But it doesn't what matter what he has. Are. He's terrible. He could, <laughs> he could have a room full of tens of thousands of dollars in studio equipment, and it wouldn't make him any better. I mean, he is He'll just be gargle rapping. Yeah. Gargle rapping. We'll we'll watch a little more. I gotta run to the bathroom. I'll put you full screen, and then what? we'll come back. Uh, give me just a second here. God. There it is. All right, here we go.
my gorge, guys. All right. You guys like my Heineken? It's almost done. Should have maybe got another beer, too. But whatever. <clears throat> Should I take a dab or do? Billy isn't here. He is on his way to Ohio to give Cyrex private life coach advice. Yes, it's true. Billy is trying to help Cyrex, okay? He needs the help. You can tell. For starters, he just needs some lotion for his fucking head. Blabby Shabby, that's me, Goose Juice. Everybody knows me as Blabby Shabby. That's me. I'm always blabbing away. One gram dabber. I'm a punk. Psh. Psh. I'll do like a like a ten gram dab. Shut up. Psh. Oh damn. Okay, so I don't know. I guess I could take a dab. I'm gay. You didn't have to tell everybody, Tay. I wasn't out of the closet yet. But I guess here's the moment. I'm gay, whatever. Um, all right, should I should I take a dab? I just probably took a, a dab right now. Probably take a dab. Uh, can you get good hash? I, I live in Nevada. So, le weed is legal here and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> Billy, you lost a lot of weight. Yes, and yes, and my facial hair. Yeah, I started uh, doing, uh, you know, lots of uppers, okay? And snorting a lot and all that. And uh, stopped shaving. All right, so let's, let's get to this dabber do. It's true. Better not do a dab, boy. Damn. Your polar is so aggressive. <laughs> Shabilly the rig. Okay. Now that that's good. I like Goldie. Goldie's Goldie has the the I'm I'm giving the award for the best message in the chat so far to Goldie. Okay? Best message in the whole stream. I can't even talk. So far. I don't know. Maybe somebody will beat him. But so far, that's the best. Okay? Shabilly the rig. I love it. Mm. Grinds his teeth. Bath, bad overbite. I, I grind my teeth. Overbite. Shut the fart up. Okay? Ain't nobody asks you. Okay? Street racing scene. Big face bisky. That's me. That's big this that that's me. Big face bisky. Just doing my big face thing, you know. Oh damn. What the hell? What the fuck? That noise is so loud. Oh. Well, I don't know. If I muted, that would make it even worse. But I was going to take a dab for the for the people's. The people demanded it. They told me, Shabisky, you have to dab. You have to dab or we'll hate you forever. And I'm like, okay, okay. That's what they said. I'm not making it up. <clears throat> I'm not just making an excuse to take a dab. Then okay, I would okay. never do that. Yeah. All right. That's horrible. All right. Here's the here's the next Cyrax video. Somebody Where somebody said in the so chat, Shabilly the rig," and I really like that. You know what a rig is, right? Yeah. Like a dabbing dab rig. Yeah. yeah. So I love I love that. That was that's funny. funny. So I am about to explain something here that not a lot of people understand, which is my situation. What's your situation? No, I'm just sure? trying to be. Oh, this is where he says he's a victim. Transparent as I can be, and explain the real truth about my situation. Now, I don't know if there's going to be multiple parts to this. I don't know, but I'm going to try to squeeze in. Is that a <laughs> 
<laughs> it is a bandana. <laughs> <laughs> what a boss. Coming through with a 52. Thank you so much. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, Cyrex is going to make himself into a victim here. Well, I want to hear it. Maybe I'll side with him. As much as I can in the little time that I the little 15 minutes that I have. Now. Oh, I like him better with the bandana on. I don't know why. Okay, I can't, really, I can't really figure out why, but I prefer him with the bandana on for some reason. Oh, I get fucked with on a daily basis. <coughs> so I'm going to explain to you guys how I got to this point. Okay. It actually started not with the music biz, Marty, no Nashville Mafia, no, they come later. It started with my ex, Candle Smith, who is <coughs> inherently a nutcase with feet. She is literally a walking liar. A walking liar? Uh, I don't think that's. Current... I don't think that's a rare thing. People walk and people lie. I don't think he. I don't think he understands what inherently means too. I yeah. mean, like it, it worked in the way he used it, but I bet he's not. He doesn't mean it in that way. He 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 means it like I don't know. He's just trying to say like she's really crazy, and no, that's not what the word means. Girl, that mm -hmm. if a dude gets with her and then breaks <laughs> up with her for whatever reason, she'll say they raped her, that they did this to her, that they did that to her, and she'll proceed them all kinds to call them all kinds of names and do stuff like threaten their families and stop attacking my family stuff well i'm one of her exes damn me and her ended up splitting or more or less that i ended bitch up was breaking up with anybody huh <laughs> that is crazy because i saw how mm. fucking crazy she was and i blocked her she proceeded to do all kind of stuff. I don't know what she looks like, but it is weird, <coughs> like, because because of like what a disaster he is. It is weird, yeah, and it's not, and it's not just about his beautiful, you know, outer shell, but it's also, you know, about how he just is. He, he's he's not with he's not with it. He's yeah, his brain ain't so great. Uh, he's kind of, he's a little on the crazy side, maybe, possibly. <clears throat> After that, yeah. like, pretend she was dead. Um, she called me pedophile, said that a I... A lot of people call you that. I raped Why would her she say all that? kind of stuff. Why would she say such a thing? So, some years later... After all that went down, this guy named Music Biz Marty comes on the scene. Music Biz Marty, yep. The guy that beat him up. Sees what she put me through and decides to join in. <laughs> and by that time, I was working with a few friends of mine on music. And we ran a podcast. That must have been a shit show. All that shit. The greatest podcast ever been. That's what it was. Well, Marty came in, didn't know who he was, found out that the Marty that was in there was not him, so I ended up trying to find this guy, because the dude that was in there kept running his mouth and running his mouth. So I ended up trying to find this guy. He wears a bandana. And I wasn't able to sure. find him, so I just I let it go. Well, little did I know, I end up finding the real Music Biz Marty thanks to an old friend of mine who just happened to come across the video that mentioned me. And Marty was on there attacking me, and I proceeded to try to correct him on everything that was going down because I had to do it with my ex-Candle, who, need I remind you, is a crazy psychotic psychopath. I think you're just poisoning the well by saying that, and it kind of seems like they're <clears> not. <laughs> like how, like how he has to. He says crazy, psychotic, psychopath. psychopath. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, like that's not redundant. Like what the fuck? Yeah. So, you know, it's almost like 
It's almost like what he's saying. I don't know. Maybe it's what? not true, and maybe he's trying really hard. To what's push the up point with those? True. What's up with those gloves? Is he like a yeah. two thousand three <laughs> scene a... girl or something? No, he's in a biker gang. Did he buy he's that only at Hot one Topic? In the gang. What? Yeah. He bought that at Hot yeah. Topic in two thousand three. Didn't. All right, he didn't take it too well at first, but then. Things kind of blew over. So I went back to doing my music. And by the time that all this happened, I had already been doing music since like 2009. And I was starting to do vocal covers and different shit like that. God. Because right around that time is when I started to find my voice. <clears throat> well, little did I know that he, that Marty would see this at some point and see me as a money grab a money grab he's gonna exploit poor cyrax for all of his talent yeah so, he's an amazing rapper <clears throat> what did he do at first he was nice i told him dude i'm not interested in working with anybody right now i got a lot of, st a lot of stuff going on because by that point i had already released two albums back to back Two albums during that year. Uh, I'd like to hear those. Um, I was working Gosh. on promoting, but, the, but they're amazing. Gosh. And the second one, and also working on promoting the third one that I was supposed to be working on. Well, little did I know that Marty would see that as a way to screw with me. He saw my talent, wanted it for himself. So what uh. did he do? He concocted this whole plan. To make me look like a pedophile. Is that what it was? In order to drive away all my friends and to isolate me. Because to him, I was an easy target. To him, I was money. I was an easy target that he can use and extort and blackmail. I think he means exploit, not extort. But To get whatever he mm. wanted. <clears throat> So he proceeded to hire Mass Troll Mafia to make me look like a pedophile. Now bear in mind, Mass Troll Mafia, aka Kate Peters, Mass is, Troll Mafia is the I'm most familiar. hated woman on the I'm internet. Back real quick, hands yeah. down. There is not one good thing that anybody has to say about her. Not one. She's done all kinds of scummy shit. And I mean all kinds of scummy crap. And so what did he have her do? He had her pose as an 18 year old fan. Which mind you is a legal adult. She then tricked me into sending certain photos. <laughs> and then turned around by text message. sent an image of either her daughter or an underage kid or something. Hmm. Or this s sounds weird. I do remember the leaks, though. There were leaks. At least at that time, I thought that it was an adult. Hmm. But then she turned around after sending that photo and said, by the way, I'm underage. Hmm. And by that time, I cut her off. After I saw that, I proceeded to cut her off. Cops got called out here that night. They talked to me and said that I need to be more careful. Well, as a result, I was harassed, bullied. Has entered chat. Uh, oh, hi, Chesh. Hey, how's it going? Thank you for alerting me to that. And we're, we're like, very close to a solid 400. <clears throat> Hello. Had a dead baby pig I'm in very the red today. fetal sack sent in a box to my house. It's true. Um, we're going to have a game fight. They were a pedophile as and this and that and the other. And that kind of continued on that whole... I ain't down with your color, motherfucker. Okay. okay. All right. Stigma so continued on until a couple years ago when it got really, really bad. When these two people 
Well, one of them came in about this time last year. The other one was from a few years ago, which is William Gloryhole. He proceeded to make me look like shit. What a dick. He started off by making That's some really bad. cool fan videos that at first I enjoyed. But then he proceeded to attack me. He began by getting names of my family members that were not on the internet, got photos of my family that were not on the internet, and proceeded to call the cops to my house almost every night for two and a half years on a weekly basis. And then we'd get the body cam footage. Well, the cops, I mean, the cops would do something about it if it was being done illegally. They wouldn't just, I mean, they yeah. have a file. And correct me if I'm wrong, he just said it happened every day on a daily basis, and it happened every week. That's what he just said. Every day on a daily basis. Yeah, and then he went on to say it happened every week in like almost the same sentence. Like rewind that. He said like he there was I don't think I'm and I heard him wrong. Posted up on no, the internet. Probably which, did. By the way, is illegal as fuck to do. He always tells people, Oh, by the way, you did this and it was illegal. It's a felony. And that continued on. Until about this time last year when this guy named N-Word Boy came in. Now, N-Word, N-word Boy. Okay. Boy N-word is a boy. real heard of evil him. motherfucker. N-Word Boy is a dude that likes to steal. <gasps> he is a troll that likes to make it very, very hard for somebody like myself to do anything. When he thinks you are something, there is no convincing him otherwise. What are what though? He thinks you're something. What does he think you are? This man proceeded to attack me at first and bully me just like every other troll. Until about, I'd say, what was it? Like, January of this year he had pulled some shady shit where he had started stealing my music (laughs) and getting it copyrighted under a fake name and then this guy named Tips TV showed up saw what was going on befriended me got me out of that situation And then later on, turned around, tried to pretend to be a 15-year-old underage girl, which I caught him in this fucking act. I caught him in the lie by proceeding to tell them, or that person that he was pretending to be underage, I proceeded to tell that person, look, I know you're not underage. I know you're a legal adult. How old are you really? And then when they would not give me their real age, I proceeded to then block that person. But as I think a he's result, telling the end of the story. I think he doesn't care to tell the beginning and the uh, middle. Uh, yeah, just the end. Something weird's going on. Of mm-hmm. all this shit, I have been labeled as a pedophile. It is very hard for me to release any music. It's very Your hard. music is trash, though. Like, <laughs> it has. I, I I don't think that the bad reputation online is the reason why your music career isn't taking off. For me to release any artwork, your music is just terrible. Um, I actually used to be a paid streamer on Twitch. I was actually a professional streamer. A professional streamer. Come nah. on. What the fuck does that um, mean? I was getting paid a hundred and so on dollars a month. And as a result of these people making it look like I was doing shit that I was not doing, I ended up getting my Twitch taken. Taken? It was like terminated, I and guess. And now every means. time I go to try to make some kind of money, they cut me off. Because they want to 
continue to extort me. Extort you. Uh, they want you. to blackmail me because of the fact that they think that I'm only good at one thing, which is dancing. Because back in high school, I took dance all throughout my high yeah, school. Yeah, you know what? He can dance. That I did watch this Cyrax documentary. No, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I believe so. I believe he actually is good at dancing. Huh. The uh, one thing he can let do. Let me see if I can find some. Career and was in hey. every talent show all throughout my high school career. Um, I'm still good friends with my dance partner, who's one of my personal best friends in real life to this day. Um, you know, so I'm still, you know, me and that person are still very close. <clears throat> um, but they wanted to try to force it upon me because I did do a dancing video several years ago, kind of showing some old school friends of mine that were wondering, Hey, do I still dance? And I said, yeah, I do. And I showed them what I got, posted it up. And as a result of that, that's all anybody wants to see me do. And if it's not that, they get enjoyment out of seeing me get mad and rage out. Money. And the reason why I got <laughs> mad and raged out so much is because of the fact that these fucking people would continuously do things to push the envelope. Everything from... The way he has these long pauses... It's almost like he's doing doing a speech, like like a president speaking or something like that. Like how they have these long pauses that are just unnecessary. He he, I, does he feel like he's doing a speech right now or something? I think so. <laughs> you murder me when I'm on a live stream by shooting at me through my bedroom window. I don't believe that that actually happened. To showing up to my house in a t-shirt wrapped around their head to where they looked like they were a part of ISIS or yeah. Al-Qaeda. That's the guy that you tried to hit with the bat. Uh, to where I ended up swinging a baseball bat on that person and ended up going to jail and getting out the next day. Yep. Well, this time, well, actually, way later this time last year. It was like right around July. If he's June, so July, disabled, last... why didn't he lock his doors and call the cops? The cops, well, the cops came, but they came for yeah, him. Yeah, well... <laughs> Well, yeah, but uh, uh, unless the people are like this, what, were they destroying his property? I don't think so, right? Or something? No, they like, were just out be... there like holding up signs that he was a pedo and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, he needs to stay indoors, lock his stuff, and call the cops if he like if he. They weren't on uh, his property. They were like in the like in the street out front but, of his house so it's, well maybe they're they're even there right maybe you have to get that explained I, to them but i'm saying like if he's disabled that should have that should be what he does if he feels like he's threatened or something like that now he gets a baseball bat and runs outside yeah. and tries to challenge it, people up to about october i was in and out of court all the time just in and out in and out in and out all to find out that the charges were getting dropped because the person wasn't showing up. These people have called fire department on my family. Miss you. Oh no, not no, the fire what? department. What the fuck? The That's police. So um, they have spread so many, and I mean so many lies and rumors to where I am not able to get a regular job. <clears throat> They, no. like I've heard of swatting o over and over again, but I've never heard like the fire department was called on me. I don't. There are even there are places that like specialize in hiring disabled people, like 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 Goodwill. They hire people with disabilities. There's there's other organizations oh, yeah. out there. So even at the like the lowest level, he could get a job that's like that. Um, yeah, just work in a cash register or something, you know. Whatever yeah. it is. They have gotten Beast personal friends and family of mine fired from their job, including my biological father. They had turned my adoptive <laughs> dad against me to where he ended up disowning no. me on a live stream. They had gotten one of my mods, who is unfortunately no longer among the living. He was also a personal best friend of mine in real life. Um... 
And they ended up getting him fired from my job for oh, putting yeah, his job. Where, where, where? Um, anybody that stands up for me, they bully and attack and harass. And it sucks, which is why I'm not able to do anything. And it's gotten to the point to where I literally am not able to have a working number because they would call, they would text and harass me all day long, every day. We've had everybody from FBI agents to detectives and police all out here that all say the same thing. That there is something more going on here. And that I am not a pedophile, but I do need to be <laughs> careful. And that well, I am I being the part targeted by some... That. They all just very... go out of their way to say that to them, too. Our official police verdict on you... You are not a PDF file. So. <laughs> Thank Sick you. Individual. Thank you, officer. Yeah. That's official. And like official. I said, man, this has been going on since about 2017, which is when it all started. It's been going on since 2017, which is when it all started. He says like the same thing twice in one sentence. Yeah. So for those of you that don't know, I do hope that this cleared up everything, and I hope that, you know, this explains everything in its entirety. What? <laughs> that said, catch you later. I hope it explains everything, and I hope it explains everything in, in its entirety. Yeah, and it's like, no, it doesn't. No, I want some context here with this whole story you were talking about. Yeah. Like, you didn't, you didn't really tell me too much. You didn't show me that much. Nope. Who's this yeah. old man? I might have to cut the music out. of. I'm, I'm going to turn the music down because I don't know what the music is. But we'll watch him dance here. <clears throat> Sounds like some copyright stuff. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Holy shit on a dick. Yeah, spin. Whoa. Oh, fuck, he's getting down. Yeah. Motherfucker. Damn. Go. Go, Cyrax. Go, Cyrax. <laughs> Go, Cyrax. Go, Cyrax. Oh, is oh, the damn. music one of his songs? Okay. Is it? Is it him? No, that don't sound like him. That sounds like somebody that speaks like a human. I don't know. Is it oh, his damn. music? Is it? I, I, I don't... It didn't sound like it to me. It sounds like someone that speaks... I don't know. No, no, they're talking about Juicy J. He's yeah. not talking about Juicy J in his songs. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, whoa. Bam. What? What? <clears throat> Bam. Dude, he's... he's... <laughs> his one... Dude, he really, he really is a star, it turns out. We're all wrong about him, guys. Look how little he is, though. You can see here, like, but his head is all big. He's got really big head and a really small body. He's wearing, like, little kids' jam jams, Star Wars <laughs> pajama pants. Oh, that damn. was cool. That was cool, okay? Like a ninja kid He's a disgusting little troll, but that was a cool move. Damn. Is he going to do the like, worm? He's like, check what is it he out, doing? kids. Watch me do. Check it out. Watch me dance, kids. Look at me. I could do the worm and stuff. Whoa. Damn. Here's a uh, martial arts. He's an oh, my God. This is such a horrifying air. Like, it's like a dungeon. And Cyrax is in his. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hear that this music either. Let's see. This is him. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, how does this hold up to uh Jared's martial arts demo? I, I think Jared and Cyrax did interact a little bit at one they point. Need to see Dude. Move like Danny DeVitos, the penguin from the nineteen eighty eight the Batman. Uh, cause maybe he is. I don't know. He Dude. might be. Uh that would be the greatest, like him versus Jared in a, in a, in a battle. Who would win? 
boom, boom. Huh? Boom. We need like sound effects for all of his kicking and stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, he is like a Such type. A he is like a type of boglum. He's like a lesser boglum. He has many bog like care. Dude, his fucking shoulder blade sticks so far out of his back, it's ridiculous. He has no shoulders whatsoever. They're the littlest, tiniest little shoulders you could ever imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Has he got like anime so, posters on the on the wall? I don't know what those are. Looks like that um on the left, it looks like that one anime. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, I think so cuz I could see like the yellow hair on the dude, the orange pants. I can't remember what that shit's called. Naruto, yeah, that looks like Naruto. Okay, to me. That's exactly I've never it. watched yeah. that shit. Me neither. That's why I don't know the name well enough. Damn, what about? Yeah, he has some weird ass sh- kind of shoulder thing going on. It's very weird. He has almost some no points shoulder. It looks normal, but then at other points, you you see how it's very kind of odd and very different from what you'd usually see on a man. <laughs> What, oh, is he? Wa- he's like, he's like doing his water power shit or something right here. I don't know what's going on there. He's moving around some water. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's so fucking awesome. He does he's this. He's drawing arrow on his forehead, pointed down. He like does this one- three times longer than the dancing video. But he's so awesome. This is, guys, make sure you, you, you take note here. This is an alpha <laughs> right here. Alpha. Look at him. He's not very good with a bat, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, <laughs> you would think that would help him. <clears throat> I don't know. That might help me a little bit in a fight. I don't know. Maybe a little. Unless oh, it gets taken from whoa. you. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. That's why you're smart about it. You try to stay a distance and then, like, I don't know, a bat is powerful and you swing that shit. That does damage. I don't yeah. see it. If he's trying to be serious about it. I don't know why he failed with that. A bat. Because he's a little gremlin. <laughs> yeah, because he's four foot eight or something. Yeah. He acts like he keeps getting smaller the more we talk about him. Yeah. Four foot eight now. He's three foot two. <laughs> three foot two. Yep. He is. He's basically three foot two. All right. We are going to jump to another segment. Here we go. What? He called me, sir. It got me so humiliated. People are discriminating against wolves. Wow. They're laughing at us at our stupidity. At our stupidity. They're laughing at us. Uh-huh. And you better well learn to love it. Wow. Amazing. This is uh this this is a video about Oh, you know what? Actually before we get into that, I have to I have to say the Wendy's that I worked at when I was uh in my when I was like nineteen years old caught on fire and burned down. I always talk about how I worked at Wendy's and the my the first Wendy's I I worked at three different Wendy's. No, four different Wendy's. And this was the first one I worked at. So mm-hmm. the Wendy it burned down. Look, we were told no. it began around 9 p.m. when smoke filled the restaurant and there was a fire in the roof. No customers were in the building. Fire at the in time, the room. All employees did get out safely. The situation is still under investigation tonight. We are told that Wendy's is closed until further notice. Damn. I'm scared. Um, where am I going to get my cheeseburgers now? Here's this. Uh, 
Here's that uh, this video where the security card is harassing some woman. He thought she stole something, but she didn't. It's kind of. This guy thinks I'm stealing. This guy's just a security guard, by the way. This is in Seattle too. So he's got he's got two body cams, a gun, and then two other mag loaded magazines too. Gosh, two body cams, yeah. Yeah, huh. it's weird. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff. Uh, that's some alpha shit right they there. They see me on camera. Well, see me on camera doing what? I have a job to do. It's not personal. It is personal because nope. you're accusing me of stealing. They watch you on camera. Watch me on they camera. They watch you on camera. Bring up the footage. Then. They're, te they're telling me right now that you Bring have items on Bring up the footage. They're telling me right now you have the Bring up the footage, please. So here's the deal, okay? I'm going to work with you, okay? If you There's give me no the eye, this Don't is it. This me. is your only chance. This is your only chance. I'm literally... Okay, let's go talk to the guy then. Don't tell me what to do. Who are you? Look at these people accusing me. Okay, so this seems like it's uh, this is not his fault at all. It's the camera. It's the people I guess that we'll work see. the camera. We'll see. This is pretty what long. It sounds like. Stealing from CVS. Unless he's lying. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. See, right now he's like, you need to show me if you have the items or you're going to get detained what are you talking yeah it sounds like he's actually being pretty reasonable where he's just like i don't know where he, where he was just saying like just give me the item i don't know it just seems like are uh, you just a bootlicker shibisky yes I li i'll lick yeah whatever okay. because Nobody. apparently okay so what, items, you, have you, have to what check you. items i'm here I literally oh wait what's he doing adult? now oh he's got a light okay i thought he was gonna fucking taser or something no so she's okay. she's saying that she was just there to uh she was just there to get a prescription she didn't even look around the store or anything oh prescription oh, here's what, here's what I need. Okay, we can make a big deal if you want to make here's it a big do. deal for the camera it's either you're yep. calling the police no ma'am that's not how it or... works you, you don't get to make the rules you don't dictate what happens here okay, okay. so here's what's gonna happen okay? whatever she does act absolutely dictate what happens it's kind of funny and it should it seems like at this point they should be calling the cops that's weird yeah isn't that funny how he's not doing that he's trying to like handle it as if he is one of the cops doing you shit yeah. because i don't have anything then you're gonna get i detained. literally got off from then work from get amazon and that's just is this like walgreens work. yeah it's walgreens i don't know using me listen i'm not, not accusing forbid. you they're accusing you and i have a job who's to they you. My management, my superiors, Bring store manager. Here, I like how he's dressed like he's a soldier, but that he's got a backwards baseball cap on. <laughs> That's all a lot going on. Yeah. yeah, especially since like you get to straight up see the magazines that he's holding right yep. there in the front. That's so weird and overly like uh, aggressive or whatever looking. I don't know. He's show just a security foot. guard. She's, She's like, show swat. me the footage. Here's what, here's, like, okay, here's what you need to do. I literally here's came what in here for my prescription. Here are your choices. And you guys are here are your choices. Here are your choices. Here are your choices. Here are your choices. He just talks over like, you need to show me that you're, there's nothing in your pocket because they're saying not. that there's stuff in your pocket. Stop walking <laughs> no. away. Stop walking away. Or what? You're going to get detained. And you're going to go to the ground. And you're going to get sued. Okay. Oh, you're going to go to the ground. Shit. <laughs> I got a job to do. About to get a lawsuit. I also have a job to do. Listen, 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 listen. Which includes nope. lo leaving I need my items door. back. Listen, I need my items what back. The, I don't know what the hell you're talking then show about. show me what's in your pockets. My wallet? No, I don't and care about your then, wallet. They just care about the items you. that you took and that you put into what your items? pockets. What items? What items? The items that they're saying that you took. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay. I literally well, stand to the yeah, he's got a Jordan cap. What What yeah. are the I Like, you can't even say what the items are. You're saying you didn't. You're saying you didn't. Let me give you the benefit of the doubt. So clarify, right? I'm just going to look. You go ahead and you open it up yourself. I'm, I'm not clarifying anything for you. Yeah, you have to. No, I don't. That's how it works. You don't get to make up the rules. That's not how it works. It sounds like you're making up rules. Nope, that's not how it works. Yeah, because right so now. So when, when they say that you're you, when they say, me listen, into yes, a store yes, when yes. I'm when they to say leave. that you have items on you that you did not pay for, it's my job to check you. And so I at this point, you I'm, giving you the, I'm giving you the option to show me what I, you got. No, otherwise, honestly, no, 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 it's, it's okay. I suggest no, no, it's okay. you get okay. your manager. It's okay. Otherwise, I will detain you and the police will come and no, they'll check. Yes, and if they find please items bring on you, them. then Actually, I'll I hope you understand at that, at that point, you're going to really go to jail. No, I hope so. So Call I'm trying to work with you and no, I'm giving you a chance. I'm giving you every single Call option them. to do the right thing. Call them, please. I'm giving you every option. I remember at the, the like CVS near me, the, they, they would tell people that are wearing, wearing backpacks to put their backpack at the front. And it really makes me like not want to go there at all because it's just like fuck you. I'm not, I'm a I'm just I a customer coming in. To I buy will stuff. say in Seattle where this happened, these places do get robbed a lot. 
but there has yeah. to be like actual evidence and you don't get to pretend like you're a cop like uh I'll yeah, at some point here, he's supposed to call the cops if he really thinks she he stole something. He should just call the cops at this point if he actually thinks she stole something. Nope. Nope. Yeah, she, nope. she, he should I'll have already. Nope. My car is parked. I'll be fine. Call the police, please. Yep, that's not See, yeah, so in a second here, he, he's going to completely flip and be like, no, now you have to leave. You're trespassed. Call the police. I need you, Isn't I need that you, what you I just need said? You to show me that the items are not in your call pocket. Call the police. Nope, don't have to. <laughs> Oh, so you don't have to. You're just yep, going to so, sit so here and harass So that item right me. there, what is that right there? None of your fucking business. I'm looking right at it. I'm looking right at it. That's called probable cause. Huh? I'm looking right at oh, it. Okay, They're saying they that you have my items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pull this Karen card all you want to. It's not going to save you in the long run. What not, are you talking the about? The truth is you have items that belong to us that you did not pay for. What? They're His saying security that you, they're saying license had lapsed. I didn't know there was such a thing as a security license, but I don't know anything about... Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about that. I do know that there's a lot of armed security guards in Seattle because I see them all the time. But they're this isn't really what they're supposed to be doing. Guys, I, items. I'm I, get, you that I, I just got my, off of fucking work. I need my items And they back. think because I'm dressed yep. like this. No, it has nothing to do with the way you're dressed. That they I'm dressed you with a big hey guys, look, puppy coat. You saw coat. her on camera taking items they that she did not pay I'm for. Going... You're a thief. You're a thief. You're stealing things that did not belong to you. That's how it works out, okay? Okay. So at this point, you're trespassed. Do not come back. Yeah, so now he's, like, flipping it. Now it's, uh, now you're trespassed. You were detained, and now you're trespassed, so now you gotta leave. <clears throat> yeah, he's a wannabe cop. Keeps saying she's detained, and then the, uh, it's like, it's like all bark, no bite. No. Oh. Go. I'm you're, waiting you're, for you to call the you're, police. You're free to go. Do not come back. You're trespassing. You cannot come back. No, I'm waiting for you to call the The store police. manager says they do not want oh, you to come call, back. Oh, call the yeah, store it's manager. All right. It's all right. That's why I'm here. So, so you need to leave. At this point, manager? you need to leave because you are trespassed, and I hope you understand what trespass no, means. Call the police. Trespass means you cannot be on a property. So they're telling me you need to leave. Call the trespassing police. You, you need to leave. Call the police. So you're not going to leave? No. Call the police. You're not going to leave? No. Call are the you sure? You need to leave. Call the police. You need to leave the store. Call the police. You're trespassing. You just swallowed me. You, you need to leave. I'm doing my job. Yep, I'm doing my job. Because you guys because you have items that, that you did not pay for. Which is what? You have items that you did not pay which for. Which is what? It's weird that he can't even name an item. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah. Like, like, there's, there's, there's only, there's all these shelves, and they have specific things there. Should have been pretty obvious what she stole, probably. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Items right there and right there. They saw you on camera. They pull up the footage. You can pull the camera. They know you want so to. well. It's not going to make a difference. What are you You're breaking the law, and it's my job to hold people pull accountable. That's why they have us here. You know, there's so, people in this. So you know, Bartell. Bartell. Stealing? You know, Bartell's went out of service, uh, out of business. Uh, Bartell's. That's that was a local pharmacy that he's talking hmm. about. Uh, uh, so CBS it's your went out of business that said I because was people stealing. keep stealing. So they hire seventy nine percent of all businesses hire people like us to make sure that people are not stealing. So they saw you taking some items. Your manager did? All you have to do is clear your name and say, hey, look, for the but cameras, the I didn't is, take anything, and you're I good to go. I don't have to clear shit, though. You do. Because so at this, point, at, this point, you, at this point, you, at this point, they want you I to leave. I thought you said you were at going, point, they want so you to leave. I can leave now. Because you can, you've been, you been could have left. You're, tra you're, you're trespassing, and you cannot be I'm on the property. I'm waiting for you to call your manager. You need to leave. Because right now, the it's looking the manager like you guys has are nothing really to do with racist. anything. You need to leave. So you guys are accusing me, a black woman, of stealing. Black, white doesn't make any difference. It apparently does, because apparently the way I dress... Absolutely nothing to do with any I kind came of down here to get my all. prescription, and then yep. all of a you sudden I'm trying to leave. He says I can't you need, leave. You, you need to leave the store. And now I'm you, supposed you to need call to the police. You're, you're please. trespassing. Didn't you say you were going to put me in Okay, handcuffs? so here, so here's what's going to happen. Huh? If you do oh, and now he's well, he's doing the here's what's going to happen again. Okay. Yeah. Here's what's going to happen. Leave. After I already told you that you've been trespassed, you're going to be criminally trespassed. That means you're going to have a court date and you're going to go to jail. Trespassing is a very... He's like, he's applying charges. I don't think that's in his job description. To call the police. Can you call you're, the you're police? You're being trespassed from the store. Can you call the you police? You need to leave the store. So you're not going to leave if you're, even though you're trespassed. I just need to be Again, sure. For, for clarification. Can you call the police? You need to leave. I'm scared for my you can, life. You, you can call the police. Feel free. Call them. You're, they're going to tell you the same thing. If you're trespassed and you're not going to leave the store, they're going to they're gonna handcuff. All right, and uh, here's a here's a local news story about it where they show a little bit more when the cops show up. 
because I couldn't find mm-hmm. part two of this. It looks like it's been getting taken down. I'm wondering if people are filing like complaints on it or something. But it shows that this guy lies to the cops um, when they show up. This guy thinks I'm stealing. Got items on me and I need those items back. He had guns on him. He had mace. He was calling me a thief and antagonizing me. It was terrifying. I'm just going to look. You go ahead and you open it up yourself. I'm, I'm not clarifying anything for you. Did you steal anything? No, I don't even think I looked around. This is Mika Prince, the woman who pressed record last Wednesday inside the Walgreens downtown on Pike. Uh, He was approaching me, getting extremely close to me, uncomfortably. So that is in an area where shit does get stolen from these kind of stores. Mm -hmm. Like the Target in downtown Seattle is closing because they get shoplifted all the time. There's, There's all sorts of stuff. Uh, that it does happen, but you got to make sure. I mean, you don't have the authority to do everything this guy tried Close. to do. Said he was going to put me in handcuffs. So, Prince like, says this. He probably secu- doesn't want to have to worry about filling out a report and dealing with the police. He's trying to be lazy. Too bad <laughs> about it. Don't you, you think that's what? I it mean, is? now there's a like, police report about him. Identify. Well, he would have to fill out a thing, wouldn't he? No, like, there's a police report. About him that she made oh, about yeah. him. Vinegar yeah. confronted and then cornered her just before six o'clock. Call them, please. I'm giving you every option. Just Here, right I'll there. sit down just while you lazy. call them. An official police report shows it was indeed Mika. My partner who, who is listening to this with me and has worked in security for the better part of a decade says that there is licensure for security officers and that the officer in it has already done like four illegal things low. Yeah, yeah, we had someone in the chat, Pastroni Ravioli, said that in the chat earlier mm. that he didn't that his license had lapsed, which I had I I didn't know. I'm not I'm not uh, familiar with the industry and what the regulations are, but it makes sense, I guess, if you're going to be walking around in public with a gun and pretend like you have authority over people, you should have some sort of licensing for it. It's very odd, again, like the fact that it's like, the, the, it's all up in the front. The gun and and then yeah. all the magazines are up on the front. It yeah. looks very military. Yes. Like, right, very aggressive. Like, it, it's like more like a SWAT team outfit yeah. than it is a, a security guard outfit. Yes. It's Way over. The gun's not like on his hip. Like, most police yeah. officers, the gun would be on their hip. Not like yeah. on their shirt basically call yeah, 911 exactly. and adamant with authorities she didn't put anything in her pockets she was just there to get her medication mika was rolling as spd interviewed her and in the process captured a blatant lie on camera he said that he was going to put me in cuffs and take me down to the ground do i don't know who do this man is stop walking away or what you're going to get detained you're going to go to the ground you're going to get detained mika kept good on that promise hiring attorney james prescott they're now taking legal action against Walgreens. This is just bullying, plain and simple. It's also assault. And when we have large men basically playing cosplay military intimidating. <laughs> Cos- yeah. That's her lawyer, so. Dating yeah. young women, we've gone too far. That's great. Okay, let's pause this for a second and break down what's on him i see two magazines a pistol there's a taser he's got cuffs as well he's got the cuffs in his hands and not one but two body cameras is all that really necessary for working inside a walgreens he's got a much more tactical appearance than he probably needs working in fine with the cameras the cameras are cool with me Oh, like all that other shit, though. I don't know I that mean, all that is. It, I'm pretty sure those cameras would have to be like subpoenaed because they're not police body cams. So they're like private body cams. So who knows what Recording. happened to that footage? <laughs> who knows where that footage went, though? So you're saying it's a bit much for a Walgreens. I would say yes. Looking for an unbiased reaction to this viral video, we turn to Max Anderson, who spent the past two decades working in private security. Uh, looking at his uniform, you know, he's wearing a tactical vest. Um, I've worn those at times when I've worked in uh, like disaster response. Max says what he witnessed was the opposite of de-escalation. He thinks guards like Vinegar give his profession. His last name is Vinegar. Yeah a bad name. It's bad for the industry as a whole. 
um, because it portrays the private security industry as like, you know, these aggressive, over the top, wannabe cops that um, are abusing their power. Here's what you need to do. I literally Here's came what you in need here to do. for Here's my your prescription. Options. Here are your choices. And you guys are, here are accusing here are me your of choices. stealing. We've reached out to Walgreens with several questions, but all they'd give us in response. I think we may have talked over it when the cops showed up. I don't know who this man is. Oh yeah, yeah. He uh, we we kind of talked over this part, but he lies to the cops when they get there. Um, yeah, about. Yeah. Mika right. was rolling as SPD interviewed her and in the process captured a blatant lie on camera. He said that he was going to put me in cuffs and take me down to the ground. I don't know who this man is. Huh? He's like, I didn't say that. I'm walking away. Or what? Yeah. You're going to get detained. And you're going to go to the ground. And you're going to get And you're going to go to the ground. Yeah. Mika kept going. And he had the cuffs in his hands. That? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. What else does that mean? <clears throat> That's crazy. See, like... But this guy calls himself a fucking alpha too, on his free time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. He in trouble now. He's an alpha. You're right. I agree with you, Ben. I didn't say that. I said he's in trouble now. <laughs> Glad we can agree on this. I don't know. Uh, all right. All right. What's next? Um, it's next on the agenda. Bin pie. Did you? Uh, I already played this, but I think you might want to see this. Um, Yay! I already played I this, do. but I know you haven't seen it, and maybe a lot of people aren't aware of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, it's me, Gail. First hey. off, I apologize for using a script. As you all may know by now, I frequently use scripts for my videos to help me stay on topic and avoid going on tangents. For this video, I figure I'll need to make sure I say what I need to say and that nothing important is left unsaid. I'll try not to stare at the script the whole time because this is a serious topic, but if you're wondering why I appear to be reading from a script, I just wanted to let you know why. First of all, Happy Easter! To everyone who celebrates, I hope you all had a safe and fun weekend. With that being said, let's get right to it. There's no other Yay. way to say this, but you've been trolled. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> yeah, you all have been trolled. Now let me explain. You see, I originally started this channel as an ARG. That's alternate reality game for any of you interweb noobs. I never thought anyone would really watch my videos or that my channel would ever become popular. I was kind of just doing it for my own entertainment. The way that my channel took off really took me by surprise. I've been blessed to amass such a large following. I deeply appreciate all of the support and the fan engagement to that effect. I feel like I really owe many of you an apology. Over time, <clears throat> I realized that my audience didn't actually realize that my channel was an ARG. Many of you truly believed that I was at the center of a world conspiracy, that I really was having brain-to-brain -brain conversations with all of these celebrities, that I really was married to Brent Spiner and going on all of these surrealist sci-fi adventures with famous people and fighting strange supervillains. I kind of thought you all were in on the joke. I mean, come on. Sentient tacos and burritos, Moonsico, Come Noble, a fat woman running around San Francisco eating gay gingers and Oscar Mayer weenie mobiles. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I didn't anticipate or expect that I'd be attracting so many viewers with mental illness. <laughs> I feel like in some cases, for those of you who are really vulnerable, my videos may have been your trigger. And for that, I deeply apologize. This is something I've known about for a while. And what started as a joke kind of turned into a cult following. For years, I've chosen to keep up the charade because I felt bad for those who really believed in all of this. I know how bad this is going to sound, 
but part of me thought I was helping you because you were always really entertained by my stories and it seemed like it kind of gave you guys <coughs> a sense of purpose participating in these exciting fantasy adventures. <coughs> I've made some really good friends through my channel, like Zach and 13, and I still consider them really good friends and I hope that they, they still consider me their friend in spite of everything. It's just that it's time now for me to be honest. I deeply care about mental health. And I feel like the responsible thing for me to do now as an influencer <laughs> is to be upfront and honest about what this channel as is all an about. Influencer. It's a joke, you guys. <laughs> it's satire, okay? <laughs> for those of you that I've unintentionally strung along, thinking all of this was real, I want to say from the bottom of my heart that I'm sorry. I strongly encourage you to seek professional help so that you can begin to develop a healthier relationship with reality. Zach and 13, I want you both to know how much I appreciate your friendship over all these years. And I hope that our role playing has created some fun memories of good times together and that you can still look back and remember them fondly. I never meant to cause or worsen any mental illness that you both may have been dealing with. And this I is an April Fool's me. joke. Yeah. So that's what I needed this to came say. Out, oh, this came out April I'm sorry 1st. that it took me so long to <clears throat> tell you all this. I should have been clear and honest about what was going on a long time ago before things got so far out of hand. I hope that you all understand. Know that I really care about all you guys, and I hope that you all get the help that you need, and that we can all move forward laughing together. So, but like, I love it. So, like, this shows a level of self awareness. Or, like, or does it? Or does it show that she read a script and she had a very unique script this time? <laughs> I think if did did th 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 this not come out April first? If it did, oh my god, it had to be a a script here. A script. There's a script. There had to be a script, guys. A script. We need a poll on. We need to know about script. the script. Tell us everything we need to know about the script. Please like the stream, please subscribe, please click on the link pinned in the chat and send us a couple bucks and help us get to, uh, you know, 50%. Uh, so we just need to make five more percent. True. It is true. I did a, I did like a two to three hour stream with Gail and she played piano. She did all kinds of stuff. It was really good. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah. She took a lot of piano classes uh, when she went to college and uh, she can play basically anything like sheet music you put in front of her. She can just play it. Hmm. So she was. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. She was singing along and playing. It was amazing. So. So I, th I think we should do a poll on whether that was a troll. You're a big fan of polls, huh, Shabisky? But yeah, I love big polls. But I think we should do. Don't you think there should be a poll for whether that was a troll so, we watched? Hold on, though. So you're saying that we should do a poll for? Not a troll. That's that what you're true. saying. C, C, bin pie. It is true. Huh. I think it's a great poll. Everyone loves polls, okay? Guys, everyone, you guys love polls, big fat polls. I love them. We all love them. Gosh, I, I I'm I think it was a troll what we just saw there was just a script of her saying she's not reading a script. I'm voting troll. 
<clears throat> Shabisky likes to rock and roll. Shabisky will smoke your pole. It's true. Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, and and the funny thing is, is all of us that are voting voting yes, she's a troll. It just shows that we're mentally fucked, like she said. What she said, say, say we were again. We're, I guess we're voting something. on we're going we're voting on the video we just watched, not overall Gail's work. The video we yeah. just watched. Yeah, just what we watched. Is it a troll? Is she she really was that real or was that a script that was just meant to troll everybody? I think it was a script that's meant to troll everybody. You know what I am saying, guys? Yeah, you know what I am saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All we need is one more of those. Where Where's the Sturgis giggle dono? I think it's at $22. I think it's. Oh, the... I want to hear that. Someone do it. Where he's I've like. Never heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear it. Somebody... Yeah. There, there is a Sturgis. I've never heard it. Oh, you know what? You said you wanted to watch Jared defending. Uh, yeah, um, uh, Dan Schneider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, the on. Nickelodeon stuff, which I grew up with. So I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of people in the chat that grew up like when they were young watching Nickelodeon. Watching I watched Nickelodeon, but a lot of that stuff I was too old for. A lot of that Dan yeah, Schneider yeah. stuff. Um, when, but when I was a kid, he he was an actor on a sitcom called Head of the Class. And uh, Mike, I don't know that I've ever seen it. Mike hmm. Tyson's wife was an actress on that same show. Well, Mike Tyson's wife back in the eighties. Hmm. Her name was Robin Gibbons. I got you, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Aww, he's got a cute little giggle, like a little piggy or something. <laughs> I like it. In his little nice. belly, like a bowl full yeah. of jelly. Yeah, I just want want to tickle his belly. Like That's a... so cute. Aww. All right. Well, he's playing his Gideo games. All right. So uh, the Aww. majority of people say troll. Get your votes in. I'm going to close the poll in just a minute here. Everybody See? vote. There should be at least 100 votes on this thing. There's enough of you to get at least 100 votes. Yeah. So vote. please vote. 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 Get your votes in. <clears throat> vote or else. Voter this is die. real democracy here. You guys don't know what real democracy is like until you came here. It's true. It is true. Oh, damn. All right, we're almost there. But, uh, yeah, most people seem to agree. Uh, All right, so... There we go. The votes are in. Everyone says troll. Here's the cool troll thing. Yay! Is a troll. The trolls have it. All right. It's uh, true. When this okay. Here's here's Jared. Ew. What's going on, guys? It's Jared Genesis here. Hope you guys are doing rad. Um, <laughs> Totally I kind of got a hangover from cookies and milk. Is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Cookie? a hangover from cookies and milk. <laughs> Dude, he, that's one really interesting thing of, uh, about Jared is the fact that he's like going on like 40 or something and he seems to just stay completely away from like drinking and smoking and stuff and I mean, like, that's okay, but it's just kind of, it's just this kind of weird thing about him. It's the, I don't know. I guess it, it just, it, it just goes to show, like, it's still his, how he still just thinks like a 12 year old. Like, yeah, milk and cookies. <laughs> he got, yeah. he got drunk on milk and cookies. Does that sound? <laughs> it sounds so stupid. <laughs> uh, and the whole, like, he's wearing a fedora, but no shirt. Is also very strange. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is That's... it even the right size, though? It always seems like it's too small. He's got a really I big head. Know. I have a big head, too, but I get big hats. Like, like yeah. I, get the, I get the hats that are, like, stretchy, you know? They have, like, an elastic yeah. band on the inside of them. And I wear the, like, 
large to extra large size hat. It, so I've got a large yeah. head. How we it's ridiculous. Yeah, I got a big head. I got to like put it to the last thing. But yeah, what overall you know? size of, of hat is <laughs> that? Here, bro. Cookies and goddamn. Well, I, I don't know, but I, I I do have a big head. I'm I'm pretty sure. Let's do a head contest the next time we meet. So Whoever has the, the biggest head. All right. I've been eating a lot of carbs, man. Carbs will make you drunk, dude. Seriously. Carbs will I mean, make you isn't drunk. Isn't that what's in beer, basically? What? <laughs> I mean, there are carbs in beer, but it's not the carbs that get you drunk. It's the alcohol. <laughs> like. <clears throat> It's the alcohol that gets you drunk, not the like the carbs. The carbs. <clears throat> you eat food, no. it gets you drunk, right? A serious you know note. Um, I want to talk about the whole Dan Schneider situation uh, with Drake Bell uh. and all the rest. Guys, listen. When you sell your soul to Hollywood, bad things are going to happen. Um, I don't feel sorry for those kids. They made a choice. <laughs> <laughs> they knew what they were getting themselves into. It... What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I love the direction he takes right at the beginning. What uh, the fuck? It's like, yeah, screw those fucking kids, dude. I don't feel bad for them for being like, like used for his, you know, weird uh, sexual desires or whatever. Dan yeah. Schneider, like, oh no. Of course you wouldn't feel feel bad for them. What a fucking surprise. Maybe that's the whole problem. Maybe that's why everybody doesn't like you, because you don't empathize and understand what the fuck is wrong there with thinking that way. You don't understand. You don't feel bad about the, the, the people that are the, the real victims, the child that you're fucking trying to hook up, the eight-year-old that you're trying to hook up with. It was the same thing with... um. Harvey Weinstein in Hollywood, you know? Oh, my God. And I don't want to hear any shit about, well, they're just kids. They didn't know any better. Yes, And for they anybody did. that doesn't doesn't <clears throat> know, just real quick, he said before on a video that he would want to, he would be fine with dating somebody. He, he at said a young that, age. He yes. Went, and he went all the way down to, to age eight, he said he would be fine with on the video. So that's why I made that joke, just for people that don't get the context there. I know there's, a, there's at least a little bit of people... <laughs> Kids are not stupid, okay? Uh, they were given many signs, I'm sure. He started at 12 and worked his way down to 8 in, like, yeah. a, a matter of, like, 30 seconds. Or that, uh-oh, you know, this guy is, yeah. this is sketchy. I shouldn't be part of this because I'm going to, you know, be honest with you guys, okay? Show business, whatever, whatever you, know you want to call bad? it, Hollywood, Nickelodeon. It was bad as nobody asked him like seven or six. Uh, nobody kept going. Yeah, there. It's it. like how low can you go? Type. Yeah, how low stuff. would it have been? Yeah, if 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 somebody would have pressed him on it, how low would he have actually? And like, here's just, here's the famous uh, video. I don't care about age. I date anybody. It doesn't matter. I don't follow society's rules, and you know people think ill of me for that, but <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I never cared about what people think of me. You know. That's why Chris calls me a pedo and all these funny names, you know, even though he's really just, I, I don't think there's a word that can describe his level of sickness, but if you feel you have chemistry towards someone, you know, like you connect in a spiritual way, then go for it. Whether they're, you know, 14, 48, 99, whatever, doesn't matter, dude. Sure, 12 is cool with me. That's great, man. See, the funny thing about adolescence is they never sold their soul yet. And so they still have purity in them. And if you can get one young like that, then that's freaking then great. Then that's freaking great. Um, you know, most of the time, yeah. though, their parents probably wouldn't be cool with that. And that's understandable. But the funny thing is a lot of parents are, are so stupid and they insult their own children saying, you know, well, my kid can't date someone younger because their brain hasn't developed. Because basically, you know, it's like saying they're stupid. My kid's stupid. So I don't want them dating someone older because they're just going to make stupid choices because they're dumb. I mean, what kind of piece of crap parent says that? Hell yes, I would, dude. I would date an 11-year-old, 9-year-old, doesn't matter. I look in the spiritual aspect of it. If I spiritually connect to someone, it doesn't matter, dude. 99, 8. All right. There it is. Yeah, there it is for people to understand. Yeah, what, we were yeah, what, what we were Get talking the context. about. It's all the, the disgustingness same. of this creature. It's all run by demon worshippers. Okay, if you look up stuff like Bohemian Grove, um... <laughs> and then he brings up like this Alex Jones shit, the Bohemian <laughs> Grove. 
I believe it was that Brian Peck guy. He actually had a picture of um, that serial killer clown in his room. One of the fucking Nickelodeon kids noticed that, bro. What does that tell you about these people, bro? Um, ah, oh shit. I forgot to put my light on. One second, guys. Did you ever see the... Oh, dude, this one, when he comes back, you get to see his, like, disgusting physique. Look at this. Oh, gosh. Look at that. <laughs> he prego. Dude, look at that. It's he's, His water is going to break any minute now. I'm so excited. Wow. The baby's on its way, Ben. <laughs> so he's just like wearing a hat and what appears to be like some old boxer shorts. Yeah. Can't let the creeps get my... Uh... <laughs> Underwear pics there. I kind of avoided that for the most part. But, um, uh, I don't give a shit. They've already got everything of me, anyways. But <clears throat> that's because you sent nudes to people posing as kids. Anyways, going back to what I was saying, man. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Here's, there's a, there's a few videos that people have sent me. That, uh, check out this one. Anyways, guys, had a lot of fun chat with y'all, man. I was having kind of a shitty day because this girl kind of broke up with me. It was a dumb internet relationship anyway, though. And come to find out, she may have been a tad bit underage, and that's why that Thomas the Tank Engine guy was calling me a pedo. <laughs> it was dumb, corny bullshit like that. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I shouldn't let that bring me down. Um but, uh, oh, it ain't nothing, Alan. That's, that, that's pretty much the story. The bitch broke up with me, man. She just, she thought I was being demanding because I just wanted to see some pics. You know what I'm what saying? What a bitch. Like, Dude, he's admitting that he had, like, an underage girlfriend and she broke up with him because he was asking to see nudes or uh, he said pics. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. he just admitted to a crime in a video. Yeah, I I, just, I I remember seeing this a little while back. This was mind blowing uh, here, mind blowing, but at the same time, I don't know, not so mind blowing because it's shared, but it's 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 a surprising little clip there. Jesus, it's all Cotton three sixty p. That's true, Brett. Okay. Uh, what was that serial killer's name? Uh, John Wayne Gacy had a picture of him. One of the kids noticed it. These people are sick. These people are possessed by evil. Okay. Um, you know, if Dan Schneider was making you feel uncomfortable, you should have left. <laughs> goes out to Drake and everyone else. That's easy you chose to, to fucking say. Not everybody. He's like their is boss. Dan Schneider <clears throat> was their boss, right? I mean, like, yeah. and they're like child <clears throat> actors. And that's like a position yeah. of authority. It's like someone's teacher taking advantage of them or like, you know, that kind of thing. And not only that, not everybody's a loser, Jared. A lot lot, a lot of people have initiative. They have th this want to, to accomplish big things and do big things and everything. And that's why some of these kids didn't want to separate themselves from that there was that that was their only chance at, at maybe being big as an actress or an actor like so not everybody's just okay with sitting around doing nothing for their whole fucking life Sold your soul bro you sold your soul to the devil you were part of the devil's club <laughs> i don't the feel devil. sorry for you I don't. You are part of but the I'm not devil's say club. That you deserve to have it happen to you. I'm not going to go as far as to say that because I don't wish that kind of shit on anyone. But I will say this. You did bring it on yourself. You did. And that goes out to fucking Corey Feldman, too. As much as I love the guy, you sold your soul to Hollywood, bro. <laughs> You know why they so call his, it his argument is like, oh, it's okay for like PDF file people to like do weird shit with kids and movie stuff because they sold their soul. They anyways. sold their soul to Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, that's a oh, great, great argument. Because Hollywood's Such satanic, genius. bro. Yeah, you're so moral. They were and basically righteous. asking for it with all the Satan worship. Yeah, all that shit that's happening, right? Constantly. Yeah.
I need another dab. You know what I am saying? Do you know what I am saying? I know what you are saying, bro. You, chat, do you know what I am saying? Everybody? <laughs> I hope they Hollywood? know what I am saying. It's because witches <laughs> use holly to make wands. <laughs> <laughs> anyone uh, anyone want to help us accomplish tonight's stream goal? We we're like two percent away. If anyone wants to, I, I it's I believe it's four fifty, so we're at four thirty two. We're almost there. Does that tell like you something dollars right there? Away. How yeah, yeah. Evil it is. It's literally run by the Satan himself, bro. It's run by the it's devil the, himself. It, the Satan himself. Okay. Blood sacrifices, they go on all the time. That's how people get bumped up the totem pole. Most people just what? don't have the balls to speak on this, but some of them do. Um, and he knows from all his experience, you know? Because it's yeah. not like he's just been sitting in his room for the last 40 years or whatever. <laughs> he knows from experience. Yeah, he's trapped in his room. You can call me crazy for yeah. saying all this shit. I really don't care, but I mean, when you look at stuff like... <laughs> what goes on? I mean, that should really tell you something, dude. I have to be careful what I say here. What Pardon do you me, mean? You've strike. said you've said more, dude. You've said some of the most disgusting stuff I've ever heard. So what are you what are you worried about? But these kids knew what they got themselves into, bro. They know they're not that stupid. Okay, no kid is that stupid. I don't care what you guys got to tell me. You know, people like Dan, Sch Dan Schneider and Brian Peck, you know, um, they're obvious creeps. <laughs> it doesn't take an Einstein to see that. A kid should have that red flag go off when they see someone like Dan Schneider. He's a creepazoid. What about people like okay. Jared? But I will say this. I mean, it was man of him to apologize. I accept huh. his apology. It was man of him to apologize. Even though, you know, I know that's easy for me to say because he didn't touch me, but... I really no. love Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, uh, that. Okay. I don't even know what I was about to Jared say. Jared has, like, these that. weird, like, rare moments of self-awareness where he's like, yeah, you know, I guess that's easy for me to say because he didn't touch me. As a Christian, <laughs> we're taught to forgive. And Jared, there are so oh. many people that you won't forgive. Stop it with this as a Christian bullshit, dude. Come on. Silly. He... I wonder why why this this uh like seems to only apply to maybe PDF files and other stuff you like. You know, I don't know. He really set himself up though. <laughs> And the reason I say this is because of all the cat ladies, you know, that grew up with Nickelodeon who just want to hate on a straight white male. Oh, boy, did, did he sure give him a reason. Um, and, yeah, that kind of bothers me, you know, because, I mean, it's it's a dude who you, you're probably going to say, well, he's just sorry he got caught. You know, whatever, dude. Even so, the fact that he made it public, you know, he made his apology public. He was sincere. I think that deserves forgiveness, you know. Uh, Brian Peck is a piece of shit. He's the one who really belongs behind bars. He's the one who, you know, as far as I know, R-A-P-E-D, those kids. Okay? Um, Dan was just sort of a creep, all right? I'm not trying to excuse his behavior, but I'm pretty sure it's safe to say Brian Peck was much, much, much worse, okay? Let's not forget his little picture of the fucking... You know, uh, um, serial killer clown, John Wayne Gacy. I'm telling you guys, when you sell your soul, things will happen. I mean, I don't know what these kids expected, dude. When you, you sell know? your soul, things will happen. So, so just deal with it, kids. <clears throat> he does this constantly where he doesn't pick a side. He goes back and forth between both sides. He doesn't like really stay on the fence. He goes back and forth, and here he, he did it where it's like, oh, the Brian Peck guy, he's a monster, basically. Uh, uh, uh. But these kids, they were asking for it. Yeah. And it's like he, he, he won't has little, pick a side. He has no empathy for the children. He all, but he does this with every subject. We watch him go on. Almost it seems like he he's all, he's on both sides somehow, as if that makes sense. That does happen. It's so weird. And it's funny too. It's like you see the messages too. Just watching the show, 
I was watching that show, All That. You guys remember All That? That really unfunny fucking all sketch comedy. That. <laughs> Just all oh, God, that. that shit was terribly unfunny. But, um, you know, it, there was really weird, like, creepy subliminals I could see within that show. Especially with the fucking, um... What's that stupid, unfunny black guy? Kel? Not Kel. N not the soda guy. I like the soda guy. He's a Christian. He loves Jesus. But <laughs> what the fuck? That's the that's only so qualification. Lame. Like, that's all... In Jared's mind, that's all you need to be a good person. So you can be a yeah. Jared and you're still good. You're still all good, you know? It's so lame. If somebody asks me, like, who's your favorite rapper? I don't go, huh, well, only the ones that are atheists uh, or whatever. Like, yeah, like yeah, It's yeah. like, no, I like Eminem and 50 Cent and this one. Like, I don't care whether they're religious. I care whether they're good at making their art yes. that they make. It's yeah. silly. Jared is a simpleton. The little sellout, you know, the the guy who went on to stupid SNL, the fat the fat one. That would be Keenan. Um Keenan Thompson. Yeah, when uh yeah, he had a way bigger uh career than the other guy, Kel. He does that sketch of him in the bathtub. Oh man, there are some creepy things that come out of his mouth. Um in that Laura Beth, <laughs> that kind of thick chick, a hey, hey, she was an adult. I can say that. I can flirt with her. She was actually eighteen when she was on. The oh, show. he can say that. I like. One. I like how he's covering for himself now. He's actually gained the awareness that he shouldn't, like he should run from that. But every now and then he'll fall back into it. He'll fall back into it and be like, "I'm not ageist, bro. Love is love, he's... man." I could say that. Yeah. I love that. Um, yeah, when she did her little sketch, like, of, uh, like that is so like if any if that came out of anybody else's mouth, that's so sus. I know that's an overused like thing, no sus, but like still, that that is so sus for for someone to say that. Like, I, oh, they're 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 old enough. I can say that. It's like it's like well, like okay. Did you, did you want to say other stuff about other about people younger? Like, why do you say it like that? It's very, Perhaps. very telling. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. Hmm. 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 I do declare. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to have to pontificate about this. Hmm. Is anyone going to help us hit the goal? The The video's like, almost over. Weird phrases she would say. There was some creepy stuff. Well, by the way, I mean the stream goal, which is 50%, which we're like, what did you say? Like eighteen bucks up in there. Yeah. You, you learn to catch it when you open your third guys. eye. Man. Who's gonna be the hero? And uh, I'm gonna 18. make a video on the Johnny Bravo. Oh God, dude, that thing was fucking disturbing. Um, I watched the Johnny Bravo thing. It's not disturbing. It's just a I, bunch I don't know of, what he's talking. About. It's just a bunch of coincidences in a Johnny Bravo thing that make it look like like if you look at it from today's perspective, you're like, oh, there's like hidden 9 11 imagery in it before 9 11 happened predictive nah, programming dude yeah that's how they make us numb to things so that when when it happens we just sort of like accept it uh there's a psychology to it you no no you have to accept things but i don't remember people being calm about 9 11 everybody freaked the fuck out i mean in some ways so, yeah, it was <laughs> it was a, such a crazy. It changed event. a lot of things. Yeah, it um, shook the country. Everybody. Pre nine eleven, I could travel to Canada with just a driver's license. Like I didn't need a passport or anything because we would cross by land, and mm -hmm. I could just use my driver's license. And then, like after that, it was like, oh, now you need. Uh, well, at first it was like I could just take my birth certificate, and that was good enough. But they changed that to, like, you need a passport, so now you need a... Or, like, an enhanced driver's license. And there was a predictive programming episode on Johnny Bravo about 9-11. I want to show you guys later on tonight. It is some creepy-ass shit. Shit. Uh, you guys, may, some of you may have seen it with the fucking poster, the coming soon 9-11. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't a coincidence, motherfucker. I dare you. Tell me that shit was. I mean, we had been calling a number. We like nine one one had been like an emergency phone number for quite some time, you know. So it was a common number that you would see everywhere. 
said, tell me that's not a coincidence. I don't think he knows what a coincidence is. <laughs> He said a double negative there with yeah. it or whatever. Like, like it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I would if he say thinks it's, it's right. Yeah, I would say it's a coincidence. Like, it doesn't mean anything. It's just like yeah. it's something that like kind of seems connected to something, but it's a, a coincidence. Yeah, he meant to say, "Tell me it's 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 tell me it's a coincidence." Uh, or whatever, like. That. What the fuck? He doesn't even know what's coming out of his mouth half the time. Not a coincidence. Okay? It wasn't. That was them predictive programming us. And again, you can call me crazy, tinfoil. I just don't think it accomplished anything. If that's the case, people still... Like, no one just, like, accepted 9-11. All these things, like, changed. And gas prices, like, went way higher than they had ever been before. And all sorts of crazy stuff happened. Uh, and, and then we... And then, and then like, two wars were started on the back of it. So I don't... And, and all, a lot of people were signing up after that. There was, like, a lot of military enrollment that happened after 9 Like, I don't... I don't know. Seems like people reacted like they didn't accept it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, whatever, but there's a thousand, thousands of shit that predictive 9-11. There's no way all of that shit was a coincidence. You know, look at the Simpsons, that 9-11, um, fucking when Lisa was holding up that magazine. What did it say? Um... Uh, had the twin towers and the fucking guys i'm telling you man okay they played us all dude george bush he played us too he's a roth child he <laughs> he's a roth child knew what was going to happen before it even happened he's not you know <gasps> oh wow. swell shank hitting everybody with the with the uh memberships 20 of you guys just randomly got memberships can you can you believe that see big hey, diesel got boss. one it's cool because I Dang. see people that I didn't, you know, pe some people that aren't even uh, chatting. You what know, a bunch. what a, what a boss! He's always I was gonna say up with the support. He's not even an idiot, it's but he damn sure is. <laughs> that guy was a fucking clown. But there let's just is. say he was smart enough to know what he was doing. Okay, <laughs> but goddamn, was he a stupid idiot? <laughs> And I know that's rich coming from me, but Lord Jesus, that guy was ah. a pile of rocks. Uh, couldn't even open a door. <laughs> he was good for some laughs, though. See, that's the great thing about these stupid Rothschilds. These Funny stupid no, Rothschilds, like, the people that allegedly like run the world, they're just so stupid, yeah. bro. They're so stupid. God, look at all these new members. Um, that's so cute what, what Billy Bill did there. Billy? Clinton so cute. Yeah, what all he did those other there. Retards. Like, yeah. so oh, oh, when he puked? Yeah. yeah. He took I mean, like double shots. Just really stupid it's like a people. sweet boy waterfall. But anyways, you know? guys, that's what I got for, for you in this video. Fountain. Dan Schneider, I forgive you, bro. If your apology was sincere as a Christian, oh, I believe them. it's my job oh, good to forgive thing Jared you. And, you know, Dan I just Schneider. hope you can better yourself and especially better your relationship with Jesus Christ. Um and it's it funny too. I just sense. remember why seeing this. would like like imagine you Ben being like Dan Schneider, I forgive you. Why the fuck would you say that? He didn't do anything it to me, make... so yeah. I I can't it's forgive so him. Yeah, it's like uh, Dan Schneider, I forgive you. It's like you've never even met him, let alone been as one of his victims. It makes right. no sense to use that language. I forgive yeah. you. Something the other day, bro. <laughs> Yeah, you can't forgive someone on other people's behalf. It really touched my heart. You know, yeah, this kid, he forgave a lady that murdered his brother in the courtroom. And they actually hugged it out. It's like, Jesus Christ, dude. You know, and we can't even forgive someone for stealing our frozen pizza in the fridge. <laughs> I feel like that happened or something. Like, maybe his parents are mad that he stole their frozen pizza. Someone... Got their child murdered or whatever and forgave their murder. And he's using that as an excuse for like, oh, we should just forgive PDF files and stuff like that. I basically. mean, it's, like, what? it's it's the it's their right to forgive whoever they want, but it's nobody else's yeah. business, really. You know, you know, yeah. And this kid literally forgave 
his brother's murderer in the courtroom. It was really moving. I've never seen a judge cry before. But it's on YouTube if you want to see it. Uh, the fucking judge. So, Jared, you going to forgive uh, Drunken Peasants and Keemstar and Chris and Kid mm -hmm. Wizard and all your trolls? You going to forgive them? What about me? What about me? Shabisky, all, all the... Yeah. All, be to be a good Christian, Jared. You gonna do that? I, I don't think so. Forgiveness. Okay. I actually I, broke I, down I and cried. It's crazy, man. This world is crazy, man. But I'm telling you guys, the power of forgiveness is real, and that's how you kill wow. demons: is being the bigger man. Weak people don't. You are not the bigger man. You you like release information on people to try and get back at them how how are you the bigger man he's the bigger man in the way that he has a way bigger belly than Dude. all the other men that's how he's a bigger man he's got a very big blood, <laughs> pregnant belly <laughs> all right someone hit us up with like three fivers and a three three fivers and a, th and th and a three and one three do it, guys. Do Don't it. let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, is this? No, it's not Forget quite done. But strong people do. Strong people learn to move on. They learn to love each other. Jesus Christ is all about love. He's all yeah, about this true is, power, guys. Yeah, Don't sell yourself to pretty. these evil, evil, disgusting cults like Hollywood. Um, Look what happened to all these child actors, bro. You know, they all turned out wackadoo, and it's because of that. So use your own judgment. Think for yourself. That's all I can really tell you guys. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, this is going to go on for a while because there's 20 of them. I don't even yeah. know which one they're on. <clears throat> uh, it's probably more than halfway done right here. Uh, but... Um, yeah, bro, eight-year-olds, you know what I am saying? <clears throat> oh, shit, you and know? we got the donos, too. Oh, we got, oh. Oh, oh we it's got. because it's backed up. Yeah, so it's many. backed up. So I'm going to, um, two people sent it in. We got one, um, we got one from Justin Buckner for 18 bucks. Don't let your dreams be dreams. And then, yeah, we, that's most of that. and then we got, and then we got twenty from Swellshank that says, "Donate two dollars to piss off Ben Pie, never George." That's true. Uh, that's true. I mean, yeah, I'll get so mad if you donate more money. I'm, I'm gonna be uh. mad. Ah, get me back, get me back. Better get not, me... better not tip more money, boy. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. Damn. Yeah, now it's 53. We passed the halfway mark. That's the greatest. Yes. The greatest. Yeah. I need content in the content section of the Discord. If you if people would be so kind as to go into the Discord, look up some good content, uh, put it in the appropriate locations. Because I'm probably going to do a stream in the afternoon tomorrow here on the channel. And then I'm probably also, obviously, we have a Saturday show coming up on Saturday. So, and uh, it's, you know what? There's enough wrestling fans in the audience to where, like, going head to head with WrestleMania kind of sucks. And WrestleMania starts on Saturday. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to watch it live. Like I'll watch. I don't watch a lot of wrestling anymore. I used to watch a ton, but mm -hmm. uh, I usually skim through WrestleMania because it's the big wrestling event. I don't watch it live. I watch it like after the fact, and I kind of like scan through it to look for good stuff. And I because it's mm -hmm. two. It's two nights too. WrestleMania used to just be like a like a four hour event. You know, but now it's like it's two four hour events. All it's like a all weekend thing now. Huh? Yeah. That's that's neat. Yeah, it's just a very long. It's 
I remember one year the show was like five and a half hours or something. And then eventually they were like, oh, let's just make it two nights. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's neat. Two, um, two four hour shows. It's eight hours of wrestling in one weekend. And you know what? When they have WrestleMania, they have shit going on in that city. All like they have all these like unrelated wrestling events that happen that weekend in the same city where it's happening. Mm-hmm. Like there's all these like independent wrestling shows that'll do shows in that area. And a lot of like old school wrestlers will do like appearances or whatever. It's, it's interesting. Um, how much goes <clears throat> on yeah. just around. Yeah. Yeah. It's really weird. <clears throat> uh, um, so I just want to ask the audience real quick. Waffles or pancakes? Which one's better? Well, I'm going to tear apart the whole community I like them, here, uh, this question. I like them equally just at different times. Like there's appropriate yeah. waffle times and there's appropriate pancakes time. Uh, waffles are not traditionally a breakfast food. That's a weird like American thing where we... Huh where we want to eat dessert for breakfast. Like yeah. if you go, if you go to like Belgium where waffles kind of started, they, mm-hmm. it's like a street food. It's like a, like a dessert, you know, it's like getting an ice cream yeah. cone practically, but it's a waffle. And sometimes they'll put ice cream and other stuff on it too. Um, yeah. And pancakes are usually softer, that. you know? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, a lot of the stuff we eat is like desserts for sure. For, for breakfast, well, yeah, for breakfast, yeah. absolutely. Um, uh, I'll show you. Please so show like, me, Ben. What are you showing me? Hold on, I'm pulling up a picture. So in Belgium, they have like these waffle shops. Can Shab recite ah. these ancient words of ponage? My cock was there. How uh, taste my PP? Uh, <laughs> my cock was there. How taste don't my PP? Dreams dreams. Yes. Yes, don't let your dreams be so dreams. That's true. They Nobody have, should let. Oh, yeah, those look delicious. So, it's like a donut. So they have like. $2 to piss off Ben Pye. Uh, never George. They have these waffle stands tip where. Train. Tip train! Hell yeah! The, there'll be like a display out front and you could just like pick which waffles you want. So in Belgium, yeah. I found that it's it's waffles and you can get like a plain waffle like this too. You know, it depending on what you're into. Um they're yeah. good they're good on their own okay. too. Yeah, they'll like glaze them too with yeah. a little bit of sugar or whatever. Yeah. Um, the yeah, th- that looked really good. So, and, and yeah, it's a very de- desserty kind of thing. Just like we eat donuts for breakfast, it's a very desserty kind of thing. So it's like that we're was in cake uh, for breakfast. That was in downtown <laughs> Brussels. It's like the main city in Belgium, and mm-hmm. they they also do fries as like a street food there, and they serve chips. them in these cones. Mm-hmm. No, they don't call them chips there. That's a yeah. That's a UK and Ireland kind of oh, thing. Yeah. Um, oh, and damn, like Australia, those are some I think big fries. Yeah, they yeah. they they do like to put mayo mostly on their fries there, um, mm-hmm. but a lot of these fry shops they have like multiple sauce choices, so you can get basically whatever you want. But there's different types yeah, of mayo. Yeah. They'll they'll do like garlic mayo and that kind of stuff. Are those like sweet potato fries? No, they're Pum- just like hand cut, like uh, with the skin that still says on. Pum- that's oh, okay. that. That's what they call fries. Oh, frites, um, frites. Hummus. Oh, frites, frites, frites. Yeah. Yes. We're yeah. So, I'm getting so cultured right now. This is great, guys. And then, uh, so when I was in Belgium, I was like, "This place is cool because it's it's all waffles and and fries and beer everywhere." And that's where I first got into the Belgian beer. Hmm. Um. <clears throat> people, people are fighting in the chat over whether pancakes or waffles are the greatest. Everyone's, everyone's getting torn apart. I think it's. <laughs> I don't get it. 
You know, like waffles, pancakes. We, 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 need we don't have to be so divisive. We can like no, both. No. We can be okay Fuck with the waffle lovers. Fuck them, guys. We must set ourselves apart from the waffle I went, lovers. I went to this bar. It's a it's an actual delirium bar where they Ooh, have yum, yum. like all the different types of delirium. They, they, they have a bar just for there. Just for all, delirium. Ah, huh, that's interesting. They must have a good selection then. Yes. It's like it it's every kind that they have. Hmm. Yeah. There's I mean, it's it's based out of there, so yeah, I went yeah. to a whole bar. I I went to that bar in the one in Brussels, and they have every mm-hmm. type of delirium that they make all on tap there. Yeah, that's some cool guy stuff. I, I see your boy. That, uh, I, I see your, I see your boy P Diddy. Yeah, yeah, I love him. He's my favorite rapper. <laughs> um, He'll be missing I you. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I've I've heard anything bad about him. He's a really nice guy. Um, yeah, glad to see you here, P Diddy. P Diddler. <laughs> <laughs> P Diddly. <laughs> no, no, P Diddler. P Diddler. <sighs> Although Diddly is all right too, but I love his new nickname, P Diddler. Everybody's saying it. It's it's hip, it's hip and it's with it. Have you, you ever seen uh have you ever seen an English breakfast? C- uh crepes? Are those English? No, crepes are French, but uh oh. No, there's a there's a type of breakfast called a full English breakfast and it's it's a very heavy I'll show you what a what a plate of English breakfast looks like. Sounds familiar. It's like Ooh. it's so like that's bacon. It's like a thicker cut bacon that's not burnt as much. And then there's sausages, yeah. uh, eggs, beans. Um, I mean, like this is just you one. Know what the black things are mushrooms. No. Uh, I can't remember what those are right now. Someone will tell me. Somebody tell me what those are. I can't remember right now. It's like cookies or They're something. They're not. I don't know. They're not. It's um. Very interesting looking breakfast. Let me see. It's like a combination black pudding. between. It's called black pudding, but it's not like pudding like we call pudding. No, blood pudding. Yeah. No? Some people call it blood black pudding. pudding. Pud- yeah, blood pudding. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, it looks like look like a combination between dinner and, and breakfast. Yeah, it's really America. heavy. Yeah. Different, more yeah. healthy than than donuts. I but think. it, I, yes, but I think it makes you want to take a nap after you eat it because it's so heavy. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. All right, so I think okay. we're gonna wrap up this show. It was pretty amazing and fun, and uh, I'm probably gonna do an afternoon show tomorrow. To uh to play some more videos, please send me more videos. Drop them in the content section on the Discord. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. And uh, Shabisky, thank you for being on. Thanks for having me on, Big Balls. Peace out, everybody. Have a great night, everybody. Open P. In the beginning, there was nothing, and then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet, gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at, get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants.